Hello, everyone. Hello. You are good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm trying to get her up on the panel. You know, hold on, y'all. I'm just trying to get my guests up. Um, she's new to this, so I'm trying to make sure she got the hang of it. Okay, I think this is her coming up. I want y'all please be respectful in the chat. Please, please, please to everyone. She's going to welcome herself in. Um, she's going to let y'all know her name and everything. I need everyone to be respectful in the chat. If y'all got any questions, y'all can um, wait until she's finished her story. And you can also ask her question. If she choose not to answer the questions, respectfully, y'all, please give her that respect. If she feel like she does not want to answer the question, if she feel like she want to answer the question, she will answer um, you guys' question. So she will introduce herself to y'all. Go ahead, Queen. What's your point? What's going on, boo? Good. How are you? I'm good, boo. I'm glad to have you on my panel. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm glad to be here. Um, hello, my name is Celestine. Um, if you are not familiar with my story, um, I had a son back December the 4th that I lost custody of. And I guess I'm here to share my story. I don't know if you guys want to ask questions or if Ms. D, you may want to ask me questions that you feel like I should answer. And I got another um guest on the panel. Her name is Joanne. She's going to help interview you also. Okay. Hello, Miss Celestine. Hi, Miss Joanne. How are you? I'm blessed. How are you, honey? I'm great. Good, good. So, do you want to start back off, like, um, with the first children that CPS took from you, um, leading up to why CPS took your, um, your little king that they took from you prior now? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Okay. So, um. Um, so, okay, so 11, 12 years ago, I had three children. Um, I raised them from birth up until they were, I want to say, five, four, and two. So I had them for that long. And um, the issue was my two oldest were having, like, um, issues with, like, um, they called it failure to thrive. I didn't even know it was only an infant thing until I went to court and found that out. So they took them under the thing, the 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 statue of uh, failure to thrive, and they were on Pediasure. So I was giving them the Pediasure that the doctor asked me to give them three times a day with each meal, trying to add extra calories. And it was only for my first two. They said that my third child was fine. She didn't have any issues with gaining weight. She was meeting the milestones, and that's something that I didn't get that they couldn't uh, that they just skipped over. Like if I'm doing everything I need to do for that one child and that child is fine and meets um, hit their weight gain like they're supposed to, then why would I not make sure the other two need it? It could have just been something within the genes where they're not gaining weight like they're supposed to or something with like their, I forget what they call it, like their, um, uh, I forget, where you gain slower, gain fast, metabolism. And so, um, once um, I kept going to the doctor for a certain amount of months and they had me seeing a dietitian. So um, a lot of people judge me for this because they say I shouldn't have ran. Um, I went to the doctor and he threatened me. He said, even though you're giving them the pediatrician, I'm not seeing them gain the amount of grams that I need them to gain. So in that moment, I thought about basically myself and what I went through in the system. And I said, I'm not sitting cool with him threatening to take my child. So what I did was I moved doctors and I let the doctor that I moved to know like, hey, they're on Pediasure. The doctor wants them to gain X and X amount of weight and weight gain and grams of weight. And I didn't just go and move doctors. I moved doctors because one, I thought about I, my kids are going to go in the system and I was raised in the system my whole life. So um, that's how that happened. And when we got to court and everything transpired, it looked like to that doctor, which was, I think his name was Dr. White. He said, I haven't seen Ms. Saunders in a year. It wasn't that I wasn't taking the kids to the doctor for a year. It was just that I moved doctors out of protection for them trying to take my children and me thinking, what if they go into the system? So I got a little scared and I switched doctors. And when court transpired, they did not let me take the paperwork that I 
to, to uh, about the other doctor that I was taking them to, they didn't let me show that in court at all. So what I was told when I um, let the judge know, I said, I sent something to your quarters or whatever, which are records from the other doctor stating as soon as I left there, the next appointment that the doctor scheduled for them went to another doctor. He said, I can't take that because I have to be biased. So he didn't even take records that I had been taking them to the other doctor or anything. So it looked like in court that just the kids wasn't being seen at all for a whole year. And that wasn't the case. So that is how they got removed. Okay, y'all. So then after that, um, years later, um, she got pregnant with her son that CPS has now. Mm -hmm. So she's going to share that story, how that came about with CPS um, coming into her life to snatch up this baby. When the baby was in um, ICU, she got a phone call at the hospital regarding the new baby that she had just had. And um, everything led from there. She broke down and everything. She was asking them why, you know, my baby not home yet. My baby's in ICU. What did I do wrong? She was trying to like figure out what was going on. So now she's going to share that story. What led up to her baby getting taken out? Okay. So, okay. So I just had a baby December the 4th of 2023. And when I had him, before I had him, I decided to do parenting classes. I decided to go get like little free stuff for the baby. I had the money to buy everything he needed, but I had like a case manager that works with the community helping me with everything. And she even was seeing everything I was doing was like telling me, don't buy that now, just wait, just wait. But I was excited about my baby coming. So I was buying a lot of stuff for him. So I was getting free stuff from the community. Like, you know, I had got a, a Tyler car seat. I had got a, a car seat and stroller combo. I had got a baby bathtub. I had went to parenting class. That was about like, I want to say it was eight weeks and I got a certificate for it. And even then, my child's father, I asked him to participate. I was like, you know, can you take me to some parenting class? He was like, you don't need to do a parenting class because you're just about to have a baby. One, I did it because I wanted to make mommy friends because I really don't have any friends in real life. I can't trust people. And then two, I decided to do it because I felt like you can't never learn too much. And then I know that I was a little rusty because I haven't had a baby in 15 years. So I did the parenting classes, completed that, and I'm in the hospital come time to give birth i'm in the hospital and when i have my son three days later from the c-section um i'm sitting there in the bed the first time that i had got a call that was bold and lit up that said um summit county it just will say summit county and nothing else it was the birth certificate place asking me how to spell something with my son's name and this was the third day in the hospital because i was getting ready to get released so then I got another call that was in bold lettering. I'm thinking, it, okay, anything bold is a welfare department or the birth certificate place. I answer the phone and it's actually children's services. So I answer, she's like, hi, this is so-and-so from children's services. Um, my heart begins to beat immediately. That's all she had to say to me. I was like, oh my God, what did I do? I just, I didn't even do anything. She was like, um, well, it's not anything you did with the newborn baby. You didn't do anything wrong. You're not neglecting him. You're not abusing him. We're just worried that you had kids 11 years ago that were in the system and you never were able to get them back. And we want to just make sure Ezekiel has everything that he will ever need and, and, you know, never miss out on. And I'm like, oh my God. So immediately I call my children's father and I say, you need to get to the hospital now. I said, children's services just called me and they're trying to take the baby. And he was like, how do you know they're going to take him? I said, I don't know. Maybe they'll just check on me here at the hospital, ask me questions. And it'll be like a protective supervision case where they're just in my life for three months. And it'll come and go, come and go, and then close the case. That's what I thought it was going to be. So... Come to find out, this is something that I um, just found out from the papers. Um, come to find out how they got involved with the case. When you're pregnant and you're um, going to the doctor, basically, they they send you to a social worker. And that social worker asks a series of questions like, is there water in the home? Is there this? Is there that? How many children do you have? Where are they? Do they live with you? And I guess I was being a little too honest. And I said, yes, I have other children and they live in legal custody with the lady that I knew that had me in foster care. That right there was what did it. 
that's what made them call, which a lot of people don't know that because I just found that out in the paperwork they just sent me because they're saying that I disclosed that I had other children in legal custody. So the only thing that I could think of was, okay, they made me talk to a social worker while I was pregnant just to make sure I had everything for the baby, like a playpen, a bassinet. And I guess when I answered that question, that sent an alarm off and they contacted Children's Services and let them know my due date. And I guess once I had the baby, they called children's services then at that moment or the, whatever the day they found out that I was being um taken into the hospital to give birth so that is actually how he was took so it was something while I was pregnant that that alerted them and it was the social worker that spoke to me to make sure the baby was going to have everything he needed when he was born so that is how this case opened so you never knew that they contacted the people and told them that this is your due day. She has the baby on this day. This is the hospital. She going in. So they, they basically put alert out on all the hospitals like in your area. So if you come to any of those hospitals, they knew to notify CPS. Yeah, I don't know if it was a lot of the hospitals in the city or what it was, but I didn't even know that was going on. I didn't, I just found that out in some paperwork last week that the social worker sent me basically what my case plan was going to be. And it said at the top, um, Ms. Saunders disclosed um, information about that her child, her children are in legal custody mm -hmm. with someone else. That's what it said. That's So that means that, and I was like, the only person I could have talked to and told that to was the social worker that they sent me to while I was pregnant. So I guess then... Without me knowing, because I guess if 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 they tell you you're gonna run, you're gonna do that out of protection for your child naturally as a mom. So I mm. guess that's what did it. So I don't know if it was all hospitals, but if I'd have knew, hell yeah, I would have went somewhere else, or I would have did a home birth. I didn't. I had no idea no. that they took that information and ran with it. Joanne, you have any questions? I do. I do. Okay. Um. Just to just to go back a little bit, um, I well, and let me say this too. I had um, watched um, a couple of your videos, and I want to. I just want to say to you that I'm so sorry that um, the life that you have lived, you know, for the past eleven plus years without your children, that you've had to experience that. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I can only imagine, you know, going through the pregnancy and, Happy. you know, being excited about being a mom and just for, you know, the system to step in and, and tell you that your rights as a mother are being taken away from you. Um, so if you don't mind answering, can you give just a little bit of background? Um, and I know you spoke in regards to taking the, the kids to the doctor, um, was there a medical condition going on with the kids? The only thing that they said it was was failure to thrive because they weren't gaining weight uh, as they should. It's like a little chart that they use, and I guess they have to hit a certain milestone with every age or every uh, year or two, or and they were under that with the chart what the doctor would have wanted to see on the chart, basically. If you understand what I'm saying. I'm yeah, sure. I understand what you're saying. I, I get it. Yeah, and so that was the the thing that they weren't reaching. But if they didn't have a condition or anything at all. Um, and that was the only thing that they were worried about. But what got me was, like, basically, I my oldest daughter, um, when I would feed her, basically – she was a, a good eater and give her the pediasure on top of every meal. She would poop it out. And not only that, when she would eat, you could see that she was full because her stomach would distend. Like it would stick out like a four-year-old pregnant baby, like a four-year-old pregnant toddler. So like that's whenever I knew that she was full. Like it would literally stick out. So she was okay. pretty good. She just wasn't gaining weight. So whenever she got done pooping a few times or peeing a few times or playing around for a little while, her stomach would go down after a while. But she was fed very well. I just really feel like they weren't meant to gain the weight they were seeking. If you were to see her today, she's skinny. She a little skinny mini. Joanne, um, could you drop and come back up? Because for some reason won't let me bring you 
back up. I don't know if it's your not you, boo. Um, I don't know if it's your connection, Joanne. Not you, not you. I don't know what it is. Not let me add her back to. Um, it's not letting me add her back for some reason. Let me see. Okay, she dropped. She'll come back up. So, um, oh, I do want to talk about why I didn't get them back because a lot of people are asking that too. So I'm willing to disclose that as well because I don't want nobody thinking that I just gave up during the case plan and just said forget it because that's not how that happened. Okay, you can get into that. Go ahead. Okay, so the reason why I did not get them back, they sent me through a case plan with for a year and a half. I, I did this a whole year and a half while they were toddlers. And on the case plan was I am to go to every doctor's appointment that the lady takes them to. And I am to do anger management. I'm going to tell you why I had to do anger management. I also had to do um, parenting classes. And when I did all three of those complete things, um, I bought like my certificate to court. This was going to be the decision of whether they were going to come home or not. I bought the certificate that said I completed the parenting class. Um, I don't know. I don't remember if someone testified that I did show up to all the doctor's appointments, but I did. Um, the judge said exactly this and I mark my words. He said it just like this. He said, Miss Saunders, I want to congratulate you and thank you for doing everything in a timely manner and getting everything done that we asked you. But unfortunately, failure to thrive is very serious. So we're going to place them into legal custody. That's exactly what he said to me. And then from there, they went into legal custody. That's what happened. It wasn't, I did everything they asked me to do and they still took the children. So the your 15 year old daughter, she's 15, right? Uh-huh. She's 15. She's I want to tell you she's beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> she she she's beautiful and, and she be doing her thing. Mm -hmm. She be thank doing you. her thing. I gotta say that. I'm gonna um, turn into getting that channel. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and I'm glad um we reached out to each other. We talked. Um I felt really bad for your story. Um, it really touched my heart. Um, to see your little baby get taken like that. And um, it's in the, it's in the chat, um, um, Joanne, it's in the chat. Look up, I just dropped it for you. Um, so I had to I had to reach out, you know, I had to reach out to you. You know, I expect you to like give me brief all your your all, all your information. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't expect you to do that, but um your story just touched me. It really touched me. And I said, I, I need to reach out to her. I you know, and, and that's what I did because I never had a child taken, but just your story of your newborn, which has snatched away from you like that mm -hmm. because of prior, because of what happened, um, that really bothered me. It, it, it really did bother me. And that's and why I reached out to you. And I said, listen, we don't live in the same city, but in the same state, but anything I can help you with, I'm willing to help you with it. And and you said, okay, thank you so much. And we've been talking back and forth. I've been helping you do little things, you know. Yeah. Um, and that made me feel proud. That made me feel proud. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, um, Miss Joanne, did you catch what I was saying earlier? Or did you lose where I was at? I think I lost because uh, I got kicked out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, go, 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 go. Um, go ahead, uh, Joanne. Go, go ahead. Yeah, you can finish telling her. Then Joanne can, can rebuttal from that. Oh, okay, okay. so... Um, as I was saying, um, I didn't want nobody to think that I just said, forget my other children. I don't want to get them back. So I was basically explaining, like, I fought to get them back, too. And it, it lasted a year and a half. And like I was telling Ms. D, like, what was on my case plan was that I needed to go to all doctor's appointments. I needed to do parenting class. And I needed to attend all visitations. And there was some other stuff on there, like anger management because I had got mad during court because the guardian ad litem for the child was not for me. She was against me. And also she wasn't for the baby coming home at all. So mm -hmm. after the court date, she came up to me and hugged me as if she was happy that I lost my child and I pushed her. So then they added on anger management. Cause I'm like, I'm mm -hmm. going through something right now. And you're happy that I lost custody of my kid and you coming up to me trying to hug me. Don't do that. Wow. So then that's what that's what ended up me going through anger management. And then so the look I went through a case plan for my other three children for a year and a half. So that's like what 16 months. So what they had me do, I did everything. I had I I, I came happy, excited, like, yeah, I'm gonna get my kids back. I done did a year and a half. They coming home, they coming home. 
I showed the certificate in court. They, it was, I don't remember if, like I was telling Ms. D, I don't remember if they reported that I did uh, go to Auto Dodge Punk because it was so long ago. But I, I know for a fact I showed up, and sometimes I showed up two hours early, and that's a long time to sit and wait until the baby's doctor's appointment starts. So the judge literally said to me, and these were his exact words. He said, Ms. Saunders, I want to thank you for completing your case plan in a timely manner. He was like, um, although you've completed everything we asked you to do, we're still going to remove the children because failure to thrive is a very serious diagnosis. So I know you fought hard, but we're going to still take the children and put them in legal custody. And that's how I lost custody. It's not that I didn't get them back or finish the case plan. It's, I finished it, but they felt like it was so serious that I wasn't going to handle the issue. Wow. And I just want to say, too, um, because everybody doesn't tell their story, but mm -hmm. there's countless stories of children that have been lost to the system. There was one case that I had watched, I want to say last year, um, where the mother experienced the exact same thing that you experienced uh, with your children. And the unfortunate part is... Um, I think she lost custody as well for a while, um, but her fight was so extensive with mm -hmm. um, having to find doctors that would also um, agree with the situation that was happening in regards to um, the children not really being up to the weight standard. Mm -hmm. And um, I just remember um, her story and, you know, it just broke my heart because, you know, you, I don't believe at all that, you know, um, normal sane women who get pregnant would want to go through that type of a process. And especially like in your scenario um, with already coming from being in the system, mm -hmm. you know, we don't, we, you know, we don't go through pregnancy to, to do anything. Way. Exactly. And it's unfortunate because the courts don't look at statistics. The courts don't look at um, individual situations in regards to um, really making sure that you have everything that you need to thrive and to be a productive mom. Mm -hmm. You know, they just look at it in black and white. And then you do have a lot of doctors who are really biased, especially when it comes to black single motherhood. They're really, really biased. And so when they see cases like yours, you know, they're, they're quick to just throw you to the wayside and they, they offer no assistance <laughs> in really uh, helping you through motherhood um, and that journey. So I just, again, you know, like your, your story touched me as well. And I'm so happy that, um, you're in position now to where you're able to spend time with your son um, and that that process is is working out in your favor. I'm mm -hmm. so happy for that because every mother deserves to be with their children. Right. And, the, um, and like I said, you know, unfortunately, the court system doesn't actually look at those factors. Mm -hmm. um, in some cases, they would just like the judge did in yours, give them to someone else. And we all know that for children, um, when it comes to developing, um, they develop better being in the household with their biological parents. Right. So I just, I am praying for you. Um, I'm praying for your son. Um, and I'm praying that, you know, everything that's happening for you now uh, will work out in your favor and that um, your son will be with you permanently and that you don't mm -hmm. have to go through this process ever again in life. But I just want to speak to the ladies in the chat. This, her story is not, it, it's not something that doesn't happen. It does happen. And so um, if you're expecting or if you know people that are expecting, it's really important to really become a part of a network that will assist you in motherhood or grandmotherhood um, because we want kids to be with their biological parents. That's the only way they really, really thrive. So I just want to, I just want to congratulate you first and foremost for having the courage to come out and tell your story because I'm sure 
because I saw in one of your videos, you were saying, you know, keep the negative comments. And I'm sure that you've experienced that. And there's a lot of people who, you know, will be willing to just judge your situation, not knowing the full story. Exactly. But, but hats off to you. And I congratulate you for one, being a mother, choosing exactly. to have your children and still going on this journey, just as um, an example of how to fight for your family. Yeah, and another thing. Well, let me um, ask you a question, um, Queen. Uh -huh. when, did you, did you, did, did, did the kids that they took from you the first time, right? Mm -hmm. Did they have any delays? No, they're perfectly normal and fine. Okay. But, you know, okay. They basically gave her. Uh, so let me say this: the lady who has legal had legal custody of them didn't treat them mm -hmm. right. Um, she basically, when they got older, started neglecting them and worrying about her work in a, in a, um, what do you call that? Like where she's caring for grown men that are disabled and mentally messed up, like a group home setting. She lived oh, there and my kids yeah. lived at the house. Once they turned like 11, 12, and 13, she would just leave them there and call them from the house and check on them that way. And it's mm -hmm. just like, these children are not bonding with you. You're just leaving them alone. And when I ask for visits, you're telling me no, because I got to work. I got to, I got to, I got to. It's not about you. It's about mm -hmm. these children bonding with their mother. Right. And exactly. you're taking them from me when they've already been taken. Not only that, when my children got took the first time around, um, the guardian ad litem literally whispered in her ear after the judge gave me every other weekend as a visit to spend time with them, be it at the lady's house or be it at my house. She, the guardian ad litem whispered in her ear and said, you know, you really don't ever have to let them see, let her see them ever again in life. Do you know this woman took my kid, my three kids from me for the first year and a half? Wow. She listened to that guardian ad litem and didn't let me see my kids for the first year and a half. And she threw it in my face when I got upset and was discussing how she said, well, the, well, the guardian Melodim even told me I don't have to ever let you see your children if I don't want to. Like, what? That's crazy to me. And the lady so could you, um, could you go back and if you feel like, if you want to discuss it? No problem. What the circumstances now of you um, meeting the requirements of getting your son back now? What is the judge um, and what is CPS has put in place for you now um, before the, the youngest baby to come home? Okay, so um, last court day, he was supposed to be on his way home when this psychological eval came out. So the company is called Summer Psychological Associates. They do psychological testing, see if you got some mental stuff going on up there before you care for a baby. They also do parenting evaluations. Now, they, I worked with them. I had to deal with them with my first three set of kids. And I'm not going to lie. I messed over the test because I was so tired. And at that time, it had been about maybe a year and a half at that time. And I was tired. And I was just like, why do they want me to do all of this? And I was like, just circling and doing anything at that time. Like the true and false questions they was giving me, I was messing over them. Not that at that time, I didn't care about my kids. It was just, I'm tired. And it's been a year and a half. I don't think they're going to give me my kids. So I kind of messed over the test a little bit, being careless, circling anything. I might have circled a true question on something that I don't even know that I put true that might have made me look like I was cuckoo in the head. And some of the questions on the test are like, do you see and hear people, uh, true or false, do you see and hear people that other people can't see? You're supposed to mark true or false on that. Are you impulsive, true or false? And it was so many questions. And at that time, I had been fighting for a year. I just circled anything. This time, I realized how important it was for me to take my time with it, no matter if it's two or three hours. And at this time, it's at the beginning of the case that I just lost my son. So they're mm -hmm. like, we're going to send you back to psychological associates and redo the test and see if we can compare it to the test you did years ago. So mm -hmm. I'm in there and I'm sitting in there and every question they ask, I'm putting my baby within the question. Like for example, they would ask me, am I impulsive? And in my mind, I'm like, I don't want them to think I'm impulsive and I would do anything dangerously impulsive to hurt my baby. I'm going to mark false. 
do I hear and see people that I that other people can't see? I put false because I don't. I mean, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to lie? Then um, it was other questions like, when I'm angry, do I feel the need to retaliate? I put false. You don't want them to think that you're going to get out here and do something dangerous with your child. So I put false. I put every question. I said, would I do this with Ezekiel? Is this something that can get Ezekiel taken away from me permanently? Think about it before you answer it. Don't do what you did the first time. So I answered all 314 questions. Then we did like a parenting evaluation. So that was something that they wanted me to do. Now, I wasn't going to talk about this on here because it's actually in a video that's coming out on Tuesday. I actually saw screenshots of um, what they said as far as the report goes. Now, this report okay. that, 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 that came out is actually going to mean that he's going to stay in the system a little bit longer. And they want me to go through something called intensive parenting. Mm -hmm. Now, they asked me a series of parenting questions. And to me, I feel like I answered them correctly. Now, they put on there that I passed the psychological test, meaning that I don't have any personality disorders. And he put, um, she passed the MMPI test, the MMPI 3 test, but we feel like she framed the test. Now, also, they're saying I'm intellectually off. Like, I don't have no, no cognitive skills, and I'm off, and I'm not intelligent. If I'm not intelligent, how can I manipulate that test to make it look a certain way? Right. If so is this the thing? Huh? So the, so the test that you just had to take, is that the same, the exact same one that you took previously for yeah, the other three children? Okay. Yeah. It's the same exact one. And okay. they put back on there. You can tell that they really didn't use their own thinking because they put some of the same stuff that was in the one seven years ago. And I'm praying that the judge sees through bull crap because they put mm -hmm. intensive parenting on the last one. And guess what's on this one? Intensive parenting. Yeah. Who can tell that they took something from the past and put it with the one from today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can just tell. And then I'm hoping that the judge will see through that. And then they said, I passed my MMPI three test, which basically that can declare you cuckoo. Mm. Like with right. questions of are you impulsive? Do you see and hear things that other people can't see? They said that they didn't have any suggestions as to what I should do for that because I passed it. But they felt like I manipulated the test and I was holding back on something. So... I know you mentioned earlier that you do have an attorney. Mm -hmm. And he is the bomb. Okay. Okay. When I tell you, he, get up, he got up there on that stand and he was cross-examinating. And he even got upset where he stood up and was like, you guys are taking her baby. And the only thing she did went wrong was give birth. And wow. she's done everything she needed to do beforehand. And you guys are still going to take her baby. You guys are wrong. And he stood up. When I say he fought and he cross-examined everything, I'm talking about the intake worker that was responsible for taking my baby. They put her on the stand and they asked her about how many months is a woman pregnant? And she said, I don't know. You'd have to ask a doctor. So you mean to tell me you a social worker and you don't know anything about pregnancy? They don't, unless they've had children. Exactly. Yeah. And so she was like, I don't know. So they put me on the stand and I told them, you are pregnant nine months, 40 weeks, and I think it's it's like 240 days that you're pregnant or something like that. But mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a woman. I have all my insides. I know how many how long you're pregnant for. So they basically were trying to see if I was intelligent. You know, when I got off that stand and got done with my testimony, the guardian of them said, they're saying that you're slow. I don't see it. And she was like, when you got up there on that stand, you spoke like a professor. So I'm proving my intellectual abilities right in front of them. Yeah. And so, like, even the social worker I have now, she's Puerto Rican. I love her to death. She's just so positive. Like, mm -hmm. I love her. Like, she came out to my house and had a uh, conversation with me. She was like, "Your first, my first impression of you is everything. You are, I don't see what they're saying on the paper. So, why they're saying, let's get into why they're saying, oh, yeah, back to what you were asking. So, that was what they wanted me to do. They wanted me to do the psychological test. And they want me to do parenting classes, but I did everything already before the case was before I even had a case. So they were going to go ahead and let him come home under protective supervision. Now mm -hmm. that this test came back the way it came back, now there's intensive parenting somewhere. But my social worker said, "Don't worry." Um, they also want me to be drug and piss tested. I don't even smoke cigarettes. 
I don't like to taste the liquor and I don't drink beer. Like, y'all want me to get pissed and drug tested for what? So when I told um, my case manager that, she said, oh, we're not going for that. When we get to court, I'm going to dismiss that because that's not what we were concerned about. That's not an issue. You're not, you didn't get your baby took because you were doing drugs or drinking and smoking. I'm right. going to throw that out immediately. So I'm like, that makes sense. And then um, I'm like, they're saying I passed the test. What are we going to do about that? And then I don't know if y'all can compare, but, you know, they're throwing a lot of the old stuff on the new one. And that needs to be called out. Yeah. So that is what they asked me to do. They wanted me to do a psychological eval and everything else I did. Parenting class. Um, I know now that I can go to his doctor's appointments with the foster mom now. And so that's something that they want me to do. But I'll be at his first appointment next month on the second or even the third. So that's something. And they want to see, what they want me to see, what they want to see is that I ask questions about my baby's <laughs> health. Do I know how to be concerned about something? Or do I not know how to be concerned, basically? So yeah. basically, you look like you are mentally unstable, you know, that you don't know things, you don't comprehend things well. You know, mm -hmm. that's what they're basically trying to do. So they yeah. can use whatever they want to use against you in court, you know, right. to try to keep your child the way they kept your other children. Yeah. But I want to tell you, baby, you fight. You fight to that's the right. end. You're doing the right I, thing. I, keep fighting. I Don't give say up. the same thing, D. Fight. Keep fighting. And you know keep I love fighting. you. And I'm with you all the way. Anything you yes. need, you know, whatever, you, you know how to reach out to me. I got you, you know, because uh, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to say this to you. God is good. Right, mm -hmm. all the time, all the time, and we have to lean on God before we even lean, lean on anyone. Yes, and I just felt in my spirit. Some said, "Camp, reach out to this lady." It was, it was just something about you. It was just something about you that led me on my heart to reach out to you. And it's like, damn! I said, "Wow, she sound like me." You don't trust people. Like I the don't. things that you like the, the things that you was laying on me, I'm the same identical way. I'm the same way. Mm -hmm. I don't know who you for know? me, who against me, who smiling right. in my face, but they really against me. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, I understand. Like, I understand. And then the other her. issue that we talked about, you know, we ain't gonna bring that up, but the other issue we talked about with the lady and stuff, mm -hmm. you know, I, I wanted to walk you through that because I felt like that was a devil in the way of you right there. You know what I'm saying? I felt like that wasn't good, you know? So I told you behind the scenes how to handle that situation. You know, I just felt like, I, I said, she's a gift to me. She's a gift. God God will show you a gifted person. Mm -hmm. Trust me. And yeah. everything that I have ever said to you in the inbox, I always said, keep your head up, queen. You got this. Yeah. God got you. You're going to get yeah. your son back. I yeah. said, go out shopping. Go out and eat. I said, your daughter is beautiful. Let your daughter get her a channel. I see that she loves to blog. I see this. You feel me? I see yeah. all of that in her. You know, so I don't come to you with anything negative because I know you are dealing with a lot right now. So yeah. I didn't want to put more pressure on you. Wanted, that's how I wanted that other person to feel. Like I'm already going through a lot. Who are you to pick apart my story? Right. Right. Who are you? Right. Like if I don't and I've seen that. I've seen that. I've seen she was going to you. I I I've seen it. I've seen it. Mm -hmm. I yeah. said, God showed like, me. I, yeah. I, I was a I was a watcher of her. I just wasn't subscribed. I knew who she was, and I was like, here he go. She didn't pick me up. And so then I'm like, then she got me on a platform with uh my jazzy life and Chrissy strong mommy Chrissy. I'm not in their stature at all. Don't want to be. I don't agree with a lot of stuff they do, but who am I to judge them? You know what I'm saying? So like Facts. I just don't watch them. Why are you putting me in the corner like I belong with no? I watch Zanadia Simone. I love her. She's a positive mom and she's younger than me. And I she do better than us older moms. I'm gonna just go ahead and say it. Like I <laughs> and she's a teenager. And I'd be like, dang, she younger than me and do better than me at parenting. So like I only watch positive stuff. These other mommy vloggers that's hanging on the men and worried about when they men leave and making that the brunt of their content instead of being a mommy, I don't watch them. So don't put me on the screen with them because I'm not I'm not here for that. I'm here to inspire. Like y'all said, I'm putting something out here that nobody else would do. And that's my point of doing it. I want to be somebody that does what people are afraid to do. Like people are, are right. afraid to talk about that they got a children's services case because that's embarrassing. And they may feel ashamed in themselves. 
but I'm here to be an inspiration and not be ashamed of my struggle and put it out there so I can inspire others like, hey, if you're going through it, watch me go through it. And if you're going through it, we can go through it together. And Absolutely. I might be on camera and you might be behind the camera and try to pick up a camera. Just watch me. And maybe it'll give you motivation to want to go ahead and, you know, fight for your baby. That's what I'm here for. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I and I mean, what I said, you know, I, I really commend you. You have the courage to do it. And that shows your growth. Mm -hmm. It shows your yeah. growth. And it's, it's a beautiful process. And on the other side of that, and I truly believe with my whole heart, God is going to bless you with getting your son back permanently. You, you wouldn't be on here telling your story and fighting as hard as you are behind the scenes mm -hmm. if you did not love your, your son or, and your other children as well. You fought, you know, and unfortunately the system won. But mm -hmm. I just want you to be encouraged. I want you to stay encouraged because, yeah, you're going to have judgment. You're going to have a lot of negative people who want to pick apart your life. Mm -hmm. But this is your story and we all have one. So I don't want you to ever feel any type of way about the growth and the process that you're getting through and to, to become who you're supposed to be for yourself and for your kids. Mm -hmm. You you were you, like you, you were designed for this moment right here to be telling your story so and that I people can that. hear. Yeah, absolutely. That. Because I've, I've gotten comments where they're like, man, I love you already because you're putting something out there that other people will hide because they're embarrassed or ashamed of it. And that's exactly why I'm doing it. I thought about it before I did it. But in that moment, I was crying about getting the news that he, they were claiming him dependent. And it made me want to pick up the camera, tears and all, and just be like, let me put this out there. I want people to follow my journey because yeah. it's the second time that this has happened to me. Yes. And so I decided to pick up the camera and I said, I wasn't expecting for it to do what it did within two, three weeks. I mean, it blew up overnight and got me monetized. And I'm like, wow. It takes yeah. me to stick my ass out and get monetized by just telling my story. But I, mm -hmm. hope, I hope that it's an inspiration to somebody yeah. else. Like, yeah. Because and well, I believe it. I've been following her since she started her channel. I just never approached her. Um, I stayed in her chat all the time. I never said anything. I just mm -hmm. was a bush watcher the whole time. And I wanted, you know, but I told y'all I want to do positive things now. So yeah. I came across her channel and I've been following her for a while now. Um, mm -hmm. I was leaving nice positive comments all the time because her story just really touched me, you know, especially when she said like all of her kids and how she was breaking everything down. And um, I just started going to her chat, chit chat with her and, um, I said, uh, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help this lady in any way I can to help her, you know. Um, yeah, Absolutely. we started talking on um, inbox on Instagram, and I always leave her positive messages every morning, and um, I tell her hit me back, have a good visit with the baby. Um, I told her, you know, because we were gonna do the live yesterday. I said, no, don't rush back home. Spend all the time you gotta spend with your baby. This live yeah. ain't going nowhere. I said, we good. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> you know. So yeah. Um, yeah, some of the some of the other questions I want to tell y'all, and y'all tell me what y'all think because okay, uh, some of the questions that they asked me on the they did a parenting part of it. I don't know if I went into this yet. I don't think I did. But the parenting part was basically they wanted to know about my life, how many men did I have built children with, how many children did each relationship consist of. Like, it was weird personal questions. And a lot of the stuff that they was asking me, I didn't go into debt because I felt like it was none of their damn business. Because exactly. at the end of the day, you're getting a paycheck to question me. At the yeah. end of the day, this can affect me getting my baby or keeping my baby. So I'm going to watch what the hell I say to you. But yeah. When you get into the parenting part, I feel like I answered the questions correctly. But they're saying, uh, no, she didn't know nothing. First of all, one of the questions that they asked me was, what is the normal body temp? I said 98.6. Then they said, what is a fever? To me, I said anything over 100. If if my baby is at 101, I'm going to do the Tylenol situation, the motion situation, make sure I can try to bring it down, the cold towel, the popsicles, whatever I got to do. And then if it's, if it's not going down, I'm of course I'm going to take my baby to the hospital. I know that 101 and 102 are low-grade fevers, but they're fevers, and it could be right. fevers. So yeah, absolutely. Like, so, like, that was some of the questions they asked me. Then they asked me, when should a baby 
eat table food. I didn't know if he meant cooked food, like when you get up and cook over the stove. But to me, I couldn't call the recollect the age, but I know it's when they sit up. When they can sit up, that is when you start using a baby spoon and feeding them baby food. And when they can sit up and you can put them in a high chair and feed them, that is when you do that. So well, here's they, the thing with that, though. That I mean, that varies per for per child. That, too. You know? Very. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, they asked me a series of questions, and then they said I didn't know the particular uh time frame i'm a little rusty i ain't had a baby in 15 years but i know when they sitting up there's certain things that you could do and it starts off from baby bottle to maybe baby bottle with a cereal in it then baby food and a baby bottle just like to me how our parent is when they're able to eat baby jars of food i do two jars at breakfast two jars at lunch and two jars at dinner to make sure they're full and a bottle behind that like to make sure that they're full and they're content like everybody parent differently you know what i'm saying right. and so right. like because i didn't know an exact time as to what month you should start the baby food like y'all claiming that i don't know nothing that's that's real silly to me it's right really, really silly like then they asked me what was an emergency an emergency could be anything they could have an asthma attack if they got asthma conditions they could fall and hurt themselves and you need to rush them to the hospital because they just split their head open it could be anything like, I don't know what exactly y'all wanted me to say. It's a lot of emergency. They could catch a fever and you need to rush them to the hospital. Like, we're forgetting that I have three prior children. Yeah, they can come down with a, a cold, turn out to be a bad cold, uh -huh. you know, a cold cough. Anything could happen. It's like they was trying to, um, it make me feel like they was trying to say that you didn't know how to parent, um, you unstable. And then what they act like you was a nurse. You, 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 you know, a nurse would know these things. You're not a nurse. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're doing things from a parent perspective, not right. from a, a, a nurse perspective. Right. You know, they went to school and educated for that. Yeah, right. like y'all want me to know exact dates that might be like in a baby stages book. Oh, at this month I'm doing this, or at this month I'm doing I don't I can't call the specific month or date, but I know around the time of a sit-up or when the, when's the first time a baby should go to a dentist. At about one years old, because that's when they have a full mouth of teeth body in. Would you go right. take the baby to the doctor with two teeth at two or three? <laughs> you know, at 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 six and eight months, because right. they got two teeth in their mouth. No, you wait till they got their full mouth of teeth, and then you take them to the dentist. So I said about a year, you take them to the dentist. Like I don't know, did that evaluation that some some that psychological evaluation it didn't come back good at all, and I'm hoping that the judge see through it. And I give yeah. it back. So did they Absolutely. notify you when it came back? Um, I was waiting for my social worker to sit down and explain everything. See, my social worker is so bomb that I got now. I was waiting for her to explain it to me, but she went on vacation. But what she said to me, she said, Miss Saunders, I don't want to rush through that psychological evaluation. I really want to sit down, take my time, and under highlight a lot of stuff and see what I can see and what I can take all off of there. She said, Let, let me tell you something else, Miss Saunders. Just because some of psychological put out recommendations doesn't mean we have to follow all of them. And yeah. I said, okay. She said, nothing is set in stone with that psychological evaluation. So I don't want you to worry yourself. I love my social worker. Good. I'm glad you have a good, good one. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I've been kind of crying and depressed every couple of days because I'm just worried about what's going to happen at court. But I have to trust my social worker and, and her supervisor because she said, even the supervisor said a couple of things that she didn't agree with. So, I'm glad they're paying attention, though. I'm glad that they are noticing the discrepancies in mm -hmm. what was previously submitted and what they're doing or attempting to do to you now. You know, I'm I'm so glad they're they're paying attention to that because that I mean it does come down to you know what's in the paperwork and what the recommendations are going to be moving forward. So that mm -hmm. it does matter. So I'm just glad that you have those people. Um, who are paying attention to that, especially your lawyer. And then you're saying that, you know, you have a really good social worker now, you know, because the in, the goal should be for you to be reunited with your with your son. And yep, then that's the plan. Reunification is the goal. That's what it says on the paper. Yeah. So I'm just hoping. And that's the only thing that should matter. Like those, I can only imagine what those questions did to you. <laughs> filling yeah, out, you like, know, having to fill out their form. You know what's crazy? After the psychological evaluation, 
when I came home, I was excited because I was like, I know I answered them questions right. You know, I was mm -hmm. excited, like, because I, I ain't lost my touch with, with babies. I know when, when is, like I explained to y'all when I thought everything should be. I told them just like that, and they got it noted on the paper. But when my attorney sent that, I was like, are you serious? Like, yeah. Man, I was excited until I got that evaluation back, and my attorney sent it to me before my social worker did. He yeah, emailed it to me. And you I know, she it. had everything for the baby, like everything for the baby, everything. Like <laughs> you know, and like she went in the hospital and um gave she birth to her son, and he didn't have anything. Like right. she had everything for a baby, and even more, she had everything. Now, and sis, even, I don't know if you want to. This is up to you. This is your, you know, I'm, I'm giving you the floor. You can say yes, you can say no. And okay. you know I'm down with you. Um, if you want to speak on how you feel about what the father is doing. Okay. I can. Okay. I do feel like... Well, I know we talk behind the scenes, so I want to respect you in, in every way. I do feel like this. I do feel like my child's father should step up more. Because we we knew this baby was coming. Like, I'm talking about the moment I told him I was pregnant. But then, too, I tried to, like, be on his side a little bit. Like, we didn't know the baby was going to get took. We thought we was bringing him home. So I do try to, like, kind of think of both aspects. But I do feel like he could step up more. But he has my custody of my child and two other children in his home. So he's saying there isn't room. He was like, what am I supposed to do? Throw away stuff? And he was like, not just that. I'm not good with, with little babies at all. And so he was like, I don't know what to do with no baby. Like, y'all women, y'all know how to do this. But in the same token, you can learn. I mean, when we go to these visits, he's holding him, playing with him. The same stuff you're doing at the visit is what you would do at home. It's just that you would be doing it for a 24-hour span until I finish my case plan. Mm -hmm. it's temporary yeah. you're not keeping him forever so like i don't know we're trying to come up with like maybe i could talk to the social worker and be like maybe he take custody and the baby live with me at my home i just gotta see how cool my social worker is with stuff because i got my baby i'm not gonna do nothing to harm my child so as far as he go i feel like he could step up more like he I mean, he even got angry at one point and was like, this is your fault. Whatever you did with them kids 11 years ago, this is your fault. Yeah, but we laid together and made a baby. You don't judge me for my past like everybody else is already doing. You don't do right. it. You right. stick by me and you help me. That's right. I'm I'm sitting up here sticking up for you in court and everything. They tried to say that our relationship was toxic or whatever. They pulled um, subpoenas from my therapist because I have a therapist. And they basically tried to make it about my baby dad and that it wasn't healthy for us to be together. And that's why they're requesting that the baby be kept. Like, it's all kind of stuff they tried to do. And so, but I do feel like he could step up more. I mean, he goes to the visits. He takes me to the grocery store. He took me to my doctor's appointments. He took me every day that the baby was in the NICU. He was there every day. Um, and they just did the DNA test. So this could change a lot of stuff. So they did the DNA test and the baby is his. And it's just like, dude, you're going to make me look stupid in court because I done told you people last court date that we together and you won't take your baby. But then I'm just thinking like, maybe I'm tripping. He do got three kids. It's my 15 year old, 14 and a 13 year old. So it's three kids already in the house. And then plus he got to have to take this, this new baby. And he has a lot of doctors for him because he has a condition. So every time he goes somewhere, he's going to have to take that baby. And he's already saying he's not good with babies. You see what I'm saying? So, like, I'm starting to feel like maybe it could be overwhelming for him. But in the same token, you, you got to try to step up for your child. You got to. Yeah. Right. Right. I get it. So I don't know what's going to happen next court date or, and I know that the attorney, his attorney for the baby told him, I can't continue to be his attorney if we don't get a DNA test. Now the DNA testing came in and the baby is his. So now we got to see, you know, what they're going to ask him or ask him if he needs to step up. But I'm praying they don't. And to another, here's where I'm defensive at. Y'all are asking him to step up and take the baby now while he's in foster care. But I, not saying that I want my baby in foster care. I don't know if somebody can't, because I say things the wrong way sometimes. I'd rather him stay in foster care for right now until we know for sure that I'm not going to ever get the baby back. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Y'all got me feeling like I'm never going to get the baby back. Let's get the baby to the father. And then what's going to happen? It's going to turn into permanent. Sweet sensation. She does not. She doesn't deal with her family. She, yeah, she don't want to put maybe everything out on the platform, but she doesn't deal with her yeah. family. Yeah, my biological family, they ain't. I don't have biological family. They, yeah, I mean, you don't have to get all into. I, I, I say what I say. You don't have to, you know, get okay. all into that. No, she don't have. She don't. She don't deal with her family. I really don't know. Nope. I just right now, I just got me, my fifteen year old, my baby, and the man who I made the children with. That's all I got, and I'm really trying to hang on to that because people are really in my ear, like leave him alone if he's not doing this. Leave him. Do you understand what it's gonna feel like for me to go through this by myself yet a a a second time? Like it was very painful and hurtful when I had to turn around in court for my other three children, and they were calling the father's names, and none of them were there. None of them were there. That so, made me drop the tears when I got home. So, sis, let's go back to when I think you were saying this happened um, at when the baby was in the, um, foster care. When they was telling you if someone stayed with you, um, that they, they have to the baby have to go with them, and then mm -hmm. you have okay. Let I can't get everything out, but you know what I'm talking about. Are yeah. you willing to explain that 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 issue? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so when the baby got freshly took, they wanted to come up with something called a safety plan. I think it's called a safety plan. Mm -hmm. So it was unexpected. We're sitting at the table. Um, and they're like, I'm like, I've done everything self-motivated and finished, did a case plan before I even had to do a case plan. I said, can I stay self-motivated? They said, uh, we're afraid not. Basically, they're going to tell me whatever else they want me to do. So whatever I did is not enough. So they basically was like, um, this is what we're also going to ask to keep the baby in the home. We're going to ask that you either give the baby to the father or you can keep the baby, but someone needs to live with you 24 hours a day. And I was like, first of all, I live in low income housing. I can't break their rules unless they're on my lease. Second of all, me living with him, he already got three kids and his landlord basically would go up on the rent. I'm willing to pay whatever he got to pay and pay my rent too, but I want to keep my own home. I don't believe in living with a man because a man can get mad at you and throw you out. So they're like, if the ba the father won't take the baby, if you could keep the baby at home, if the father is willing to stay for a certain amount of hours and you find friends that are willing to do shifts. But somebody has to spend the night with me overnight in order for the baby to stay home at my house or either at their house. Joanne, what did you get from that? Because I didn't like that at all. When she told me that, I just felt like, what are they trying to do to you? Yeah. What is going on here? Like, I was just so lost. Yeah, they're saying I, I feel like I, they're saying I can't be super unsupervised with my baby. But here it is, two months into this case, and he's three months now. I went from supervised visit where they watched me in a little window during the visitation to unsupervised because everybody said that I was doing really well, that I respond to the baby's needs, that I don't get frustrated even when he's upset for the whole visit and crying. They noticed all of this. Yeah, and I just feel I'm like they're being that. railroaded. I feel like, yes, yes, you know, that that's what I feel like, and I feel like you're you're definitely being prejudged or post judged, be um, based off of lacking information um, from the first three children. That's mm -hmm. that's what I feel about it. Mm -hmm. and, and you know what, I, I feel that too, Joanne, because. I mean, it ain't like they took her kids because she was on drugs. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? She was doing this. She was doing that. She wasn't right. doing any of that. This came from spectation from a doctor because the babies was underweight. She took the right. babies to another doctor um, because she was afraid that this doctor had what well, the doctor had already threatened her to call CPS on her. Mm -hmm. So she did everything that a natural mother would have done because in reality, I would have did the same thing if you were threatened Absolutely. to call CPS on me. I yeah, would have never seen anymore. Mm -hmm. right? I'm not going to so, not take um, the baby to the doctor, but I'm going to find a different doctor because I know that's neglect if you don't take right, it. Right, and that's what I'm saying. It ain't like you didn't you just took the baby from the doctor and didn't find no other doctor at exactly. all. Exactly. You exactly. Right, you did find a doctor. It seems like to me they're not giving you no accountability 
for the things that you trying to do still and mm. the things that you did do. It seemed like to me, they trying to look at everything as a disconnect when it comes to you and your yeah. child. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. And, it's and I don't like that. It's scary when I hear people keep on stressing that because it's just like, damn, is that really what they're doing? And when I get to court, I don't know how this going to turn if, the, if if that's the case. Like, it's scary. Yeah. It's really scary. Because my next court date is next month on the 11th. And my social worker is going to come out on the 8th and sit and talk with me about the case. What's on the uh, evaluation? Okay. Um, so can you ask? Huh? Can you ask your your caseworker? Um, because I don't know if they'd be willing to, um, to tell you or not. But um, can you ask them? You know what their recommendations are going to be. Oh, or yeah. she told me some of them. She said, "I have something called the Blair Foundation where you can do parenting." And she said, "I'm gonna get you a referral for that." She she's gonna get me that. She went on vacation yesterday. She won't be back till Friday or Saturday okay. or something like that. So I won't know anything until next week starts. And so um, she said they're intent. They're very intensive. So if they're asking for you to have intensive parenting class, that's where we're going to put you. And so okay. as far and oh, something else they're asking me to do is something called dialectical behavioral therapy. I've never heard of it. Never heard of it, but from what I understand, yeah, I mean, it's for like for you to control your emotions. I mean, but who wouldn't have emotions with you know losing a baby? Right. Who wouldn't? Right. Right. Who yeah. wouldn't? And right. being yeah. able, and I heard it's for being able to adapt. Yeah. So they want me to go through some therapy to learn how to adapt to situations, and I like they asking for a lot. Yeah. So do you think that? Being there acting for so much, do you think that they may try to keep the baby until you finish everything they want you to complete? I do feel that way, but I don't know for sure because I feel like I have an awesome social worker. I'm not for sure. Okay. I'm hoping that some of the stuff that I can do, the baby could come home and they could be uh, around until everything is finished. But the baby come home in the midst of it. Like, yeah. don't make me wait till everything is finished. That's a long time. Do you know when I went to the visitation to see my baby yesterday, there was like a development wheel on the wall for babies. And I turned to the, I turned to whatever it is that they do at three months. And I just broke down and cried. Because I was like, look at the milestones I'm missing. Yeah. Look at the yeah. milestones that I'm missing. Like, I can't get that back. Yeah. I can't go back and rewind and make up for what I missed at all. And that's something that bothered me at yesterday's visit. And I'm like, I'll pray that he can come home while I finish everything. Yep. So I'm just praying. If you want me to do the parenting class and not, him not come home till I get done with the parenting class, that's fine. But can everything else be done and y'all just do protective supervision while I do everything else? I'm missing so much that is critical. Yeah. Like when he's <laughs> in my arms and he's crying and he's really kind of somewhat difficult to calm down, I be in my feelings about it because I'll be like, this is probably because he wants the other lady that's caring for him because he don't know me. That's a hurting mm -hmm. feeling to feel that way. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I emotionally, mm -hmm. while I'm at a visit, I try to like <laughs> hold myself together because I'm dealing with my baby. And I don't want them to see that I'm getting emotional while I'm visiting my child. So... I try to hold myself together the best way I know how. So, Stephanie, are you saying they took a child from you, too? Because I see in the comments she said her baby was back home in six months. Are you saying they took a child from you, too, Stephanie? Yeah, she said my kids was my kids was gone for six months until I was able to complete everything they wanted me to complete. But, yes, I'm in California and every state is different. Okay, okay. Yeah, they took our kids too. Wow. Yeah, I can't see the comments. I was trying to click and see, but yeah, yeah, this is my life. So right now, 
It's horrible. Yeah, that's to make sure you you do everything they ask you to do, you know, and always remember, I know you're upset. I know you're going to stay emotional because you have every right to be. But when yeah. you're around them, try not to show them all you can. You're not emotional. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Don't show them anything that they want to hold against you because you see what right. they're trying to do right now. You, you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Right. And so you know, try to stay strong. You know, even before you leave your house and you know you got to meet with them, pray. Say a prayer before you leave your house. Yes. Every yeah, every I, day. You know, they kind of like really demolished me because like one of the things that they asked for was that until everything is complete, she is to have supervised visits with her child. First of all, they already went from supervised to unsupervised. So what you saying that they need to take it back? and put me back on supervised are y'all losing y'all minds so you saying in other words you saying forget children's services they ain't doing their job right because she should never be unsupervised are you serious they just took me from supervised to unsupervised so they basically the summer psychologicals are saying that i need to go back supervised mm -hmm. so that's saying, what they're saying yeah and they're saying that they want me to go see a uh uh, what's that? The person that give you pills, psychiatrist or something like that? They want me to go really? see a psychiatrist. Yeah, they want me to go see a psychiatrist and get on medicine. You don't need no medicine. Exactly. Right. My therapist said the same thing. My therapist said, so they just saying, fuck me, huh? Like, I ain't doing my job. Don't you think if I thought you needed medicine, I would have gave it to you by now and sent you to the psychiatrist here? You don't need medicine. Yeah, and then what they're trying to do this had a psychiatrist say, "Oh, she need medication, and that's going to end all of that for that baby right there. That's going to end yeah. all of that." Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what it is. Oh, she needs a certain type of med, and that med is for this. So we're not gonna uh, give her back her baby because the med she needs to be on, if she's not on those meds, it can harm the baby. I already know what they're trying right. to do. Right, right, right. But you know, I want to tell you, I thank God that because your daughter come to see you on weekends, right? She come on weekends. Uh, Fridays, Friday to Sunday uh, evening, sometimes after. Okay. Early. And I, I mean, from, from I went back and I had to just watch a video with her. Like, I mean, she's just so inspiring. I love mm -hmm. how she inspires you. She makes you smile. She mm -hmm. makes you happy. And I seen that in her. And right now, with everything that you're going through right now. That's what you need. Yeah. That's what you need. Yeah. I mean, she just said it like, yeah, me and my mommy went and did this. We went and did this. We got our nails done together. Like, <laughs> that really touched my heart. She was yeah. like, no, mommy, we had to show everything like I showed my stuff. Like, that was, that really touched my heart, <laughs> for real. And I love that. Yeah. You know, um, so I'm glad, you know, I know you and your family's not together, and I'm not going to get into that. Um, but just seeing your daughter is there for you to mm -hmm. inspire you. You know, she know, I even like that day she came on your live and said, mommy, are you going to tell him what's going on? <laughs> and remember when I, <laughs> I said, yeah, I mean, you just, you just don't know how it made me feel just that, you know, she's so well-spoken, you know, yeah. she's so educated to be a 15 year old teenage child, uh -huh. you know, and I'll put in the chat. I said, um, yeah, share, but not all. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, you did agree with me on that too. But mm -hmm. I just like how she came on the live and just interact with you. <laughs> so that means a lot, you know, um, uh -huh. with your relationship. And she really truly loves you. And that's the thing I want them to see too. Like y'all saying I shouldn't be around kids. I have my 15-year-old every single weekend. So what are you saying? Mm -hmm. That I'm a sure to her too? Right. Mm -hmm. I have her every single weekend. I have to feed her buy her clothes when i we went shopping on the vlog i gave her 200 dollars to go shop with and buy her whatever she wanted we just went and got our nails done together last weekend like i she's fine and ezekiel is going to be fine right mm -hmm. like i make sure my kids are straight and like even the social worker said during the last court day everybody was in the courtroom you know they called up some people that was working with me for six months and less instead of calling the people that worked with me for two years in the courtroom and it was like confusing because really? it's like why wouldn't you call the, my therapist in y'all subpoenaed her records why wouldn't you call her in 
And then why wouldn't you call the lady that I've been working with for two years? And they even, even the social worker was like, oh, we believe y'all because she got a lot of baby stuff. And a lot of the parents that we have cases with don't even have as much baby stuff as she got. Like right. my social worker walked around my house and said, he has everything. He really does have everything. Like he got everything. Yeah. Box, uh, a box stack of diapers that I got a, the newborn box and the two newborn packages. I got to give to the foster mom because he going to go out of them. And I got a whole box of those. So it's just, yeah, it's just a yeah, lot. Yeah, you have a lot of pamphlets, yeah. So, yeah, maybe, you know, you start taking some of the pamphlets over there because you do have a lot there. And, you know, yeah. you don't want him to outgrow them. And then, you know, you know, you, you can't get your money back for him. So, yeah, right. maybe you start taking yeah. maybe it's about two boxes at a time, you know. So, because mm -hmm. mm. he's growing out of them. I'm so upset about this is, that. This I spent is, a lot of money. So, yeah, they yeah. wanted to know about my income yeah. and all of that. It don't matter about my income. He's taking care of. Right. Like, you just came out to my house. Don't you? He not going to go without. He's not going to go without. I have three, four, five different credit cards with different limits on them that I pay off every month. And I got them in case of an emergency. If I got to catch a lift and take him to the hospital. If I got to, you know, get out here and right. do something and take him with me. He's fine. He's not in any kind of danger. So I can't wait to bring him home and actually have him appear on camera so people can see what kind of mom I am for real. Yes. So Yeah. yeah. It's going to be okay. It, it's definitely yeah. going to be okay. Trust me and believe me. It definitely will be okay. Yeah, I you know, sometimes everything takes time. I just don't want them pushing the agenda of they want the baby to go to the father now. Because to me, it just sounds like, okay, just in case it needs to be permanent, give them to the father. I understand that. But let's wait until I mess something up or something. Don't, stop rushing it. I'd rather him be with the foster lady for right now because that makes me feel more secure that, okay, this foster mom can't take him permanently because she's a temporary foster mom. Yeah. So if you telling me everything I got to do is temporary and he's coming home, leave him with the foster parent. Let's not use the father as an option until we need to. Yeah. If you feel like I do, right. because it make me feel like y'all setting it up for him to be permanently taken from me. I don't want him permanently going anywhere. I, let's focus on him coming home first. Then let's focus on where he going to go. So leave the father out of it until we know that he's not going to go home permanently. Yeah. And it's not that I want him to stay in foster care. It's just that y'all making it feel like it's going to be permanent. Like, I right. don't like that. And I don't want him bouncing around. When he goes from that foster parent, I want him to come to me. Another thing that they're saying is that I don't have any kind of um, conversation with the foster mom, which is not true. And they're complaining. They said on the Saki Val that I don't know anything about the baby's schedule, and that's not good. First of all, what schedule do I need to know about besides his feeding schedule? He don't live with me yet. So when the time comes that it's time for him to come home, I would then ask, when does he go to sleep? What hours is he awake? What hours does he do this? What I, The only thing I need to know about right now is his feeding because the only thing I get time to do during the visit is feeding. I mean, he three months. I mean, that's what he going to do I'm, other than time to time. Exactly. Exactly. And they're saying because I don't know other stuff besides feeding that that's a problem. Like, are you serious? Like, I, I talk to the foster mom. When I see something wrong with my baby, I ask. Like, and it's noted that I that I show concern for my baby. My baby was in care for a month. The next following month, he had a hernia. And y'all know hernia come from babies crying loud or straining a muscle and they crying too much. I asked questions and I said, can you send a foster mama here? Because I got a question. And I said to her, I said, he didn't have a hernia last week. And I said, I noticed when I was changing his diaper, he's got a big old hernia. Do you know how that got there? She said, no, I don't know. But I did talk to the doctor about it. I asked her, have you spoke to a doctor about it? And she said, the doctor said they'll check on it. And within a year, Year, it'll go away like i do show concern for my baby they're saying that i don't that i don't do these things wow and then there was times where she sent my baby to me to me and every time she sent me my baby he had dried up milk all over his face and we had to have a meeting via zoom with children's services and the foster mom and i showed concern even then i said i would like for you to check his face before you give him to me and wipe him down his neck and his face because I said, when I give him back to you, not that it matters because I'm his mom. I don't give him back to you in a dirty condition. Like, right. check his face and right. don't have dried up milk all over his face. Like, right. his car seat, 
his car seat was always dirty. And I'm looking like, wow, this is what you bought my baby home in from the NICU. Like, and I stress that point too, that it could be taken off and washed. Like right. every three to six months, take that car seat cover off and wash it and attach it back to the car seat. Those are things that I would do with my child. Yeah. I mean, she can do it. She can do it every two weeks. Take it off, wash it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Let it dry by itself and put it back on. I mean, he shouldn't have a dirty car seat. He's in a three months. Who can he eat in his car seat? Yeah. Right. So, like, then I asked questions. I said, I want to know if I didn't get to ask this question, but I was like, I wanted to know if the pacifier that she would give me for him was always nasty, dirty. And I got brand new pacifiers that I give him. So, like, they still in the pack. So, I didn't like the pacifier she was sending with him, and I wouldn't even put it in his mouth. I would just bring my own pacifier. Because, you know, I bring my own baby stuff to the visit. So, I would okay. give him my pacifier that I have at home for him instead of her pacifier. Because I would look at it like, why does this thing look nasty, filthy, and got dried up milk? And I know he sucked on it, but she had two foster kids in the home. My baby and another baby. And I'm like, I hope to God they're not sharing pacifiers. So let me ask you a question, boo. The foster parent that has your son, you can have no conversations with her on the outside of the visit? Oh, yeah. I got a Google number for her, but they, oh, don't, okay. recommend that you have, they don't recommend that you have the foster mom's personal number. So they ask that okay. if you're going to have anything to do with the, um, the foster mom, that the foster mom and you have a Google number. Okay, yeah. so you can contact her through that. Okay, so yeah, I'm, 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 I'm asking you that. that so any questions you got, you know, maybe you can, like, text her through that and let her know what your concerns is. Does she send you pictures of the baby? Uh-huh, every month that he turns a month. And it'd be hard for me to look at it because it's like she getting to see what I'm supposed to see. It bothers mm -hmm. me when she send me them pictures. But I know I have to accept them because I'm missing out on watching him grow with my own two eyes and somebody else is watching this so i have to look at the picture okay well let me tell you this don't don't discuss with them it's hard for you to look at don't ever say it in front of them because they oh, will yeah, take that to another direction yeah, oh know. you know she said this it is it, it falls I don't mean no harm in saying it though well we I know you don't harm but we know the shit that they're taking you through right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're trying yeah. to say you need medication and all this. Any little thing you say and slip up, they'll yeah. use it against you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, let's try to watch, you know, the tone of your voice when you talk to them, you know, and things like that. Even when you, you know, the foster parent may be doing something that you don't like. I already know you know how to communicate with her. I already know you're going to be um, professional with that. I already know that. But you stay in your boundaries. Always stay in your boundaries when it comes to you and your child. Just like you said, you didn't like that car seat dirty. No, you you stay in your boundaries. You tell her you didn't like the way that pacify look. Throw so all your boundaries. That is still your child at the end of the day. Don't let them, by any means necessary, make you feel like you are afraid to speak up for your child in that visit when you see something is wrong. Your boundaries is your boundaries, and you stick to your boundaries. Mm hmm. I do. Because um, when they told me that they wasn't going to give me one visit per week, I said, uh, uh, this is a newborn baby. I just had him. And that's not enough time. One day, one, one day a week. So they bumped it up to two and it was six hours, three hours every two weeks. But they're short staff, which I understand because I wouldn't want to work for them either. So I only get <laughs> two hours per visit. Yeah, I only get two hours per visit now. It went from three hours per visit to two hours because they're short staffed. Like, I, I get it. I wouldn't want to work for them. Either. And can you take pictures of your son, like when you're doing the visits? I take right? pictures, videos, everything. Right. Because I was going to say, this is what you do. Anything you see is wrong with your child in that visit, you take yep. a picture of it. Required. Oh, yeah, that's, how I, that's, how, that's how we ended up having a meeting about his face being dirty because I sent it to the social worker like, man, she was like, I want you to have a meeting with the foster mom and the people at Children's Services 
So we got on Zoom and I discussed everything. And even my social work was on my side. Like, yeah, his face was dirty. She did send me a picture of how he came in. Now she wipes his face down. Now his car seat is clean. And then I had to tell her he has cradle cap. Like we're African American, you're Caucasian. In our we don't put oil, we don't put oil in a baby's hair every day. That clogs their pores and it makes them have cradle cap. So I had to tell her, do oil in his hair once a week. Let him have his natural right. hair oils because it will clog in his skin, and that's what's causing him to have cradle cap. So she stopped using the oil every day now. And so that's how we but we anything going on, we try to rectify the situation. Okay. So, yeah, that's good. Anything you see, Ron, take your picture. After you take your picture, then you speak to her. But have your pictures. Yeah. Because you don't want her to, you don't want to tear her prior and then take the pictures. You know what I'm saying? Then she's going to start cleaning up her act. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, you take a picture of everything you see wrong. You know, I don't care what it is. And you give it to your caseworker. Mm, I will. Because you want to stay ahead of him also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I sent pictures of the car seat to my social worker. I sent pictures of the baby's face being dirty. Because it was like every visit he was coming in with a dirty face. And even my child's father was like, man, I, I can't do this. And then, and then, like, the first time I seen him when he first got took, I was upset. She walked in there with my baby with a thin receiving blanket. And it, I just had him in December. And it's only December to maybe the 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 end of December, the thirtieth or something. And it's my first time seeing my dad on baby, and it's snowing outside, and you carrying him in and a thin receiving blanket, and his head isn't covered. And wow. He's and he's premature. My child's father oh. went off. He went off. Wow. Yeah. But you say that I can't. I don't know how to communicate with the um the foster mom and when i told my social worker that that was on the evaluation that i don't that i don't they don't feel like i talked to the foster mom even she said that's a lie because we just had a meeting and you discussed all of your concerns you do know how to discuss concerns about your baby that's not true and i do and that's on the paperwork that's documented that you do know how to do these things right uh-huh and so okay. i'm hoping that because everything that it's a C word that I want to use. Everything that some psychological is saying in children's services is kind of like, what's that C word? Um, contradicting. Yeah. Like y'all saying, I need medicine, but I whole ass talk to a therapist every week and she says I don't need medicine. She would have put me on medicine. Then y'all saying I need to go and be supervised with my baby, but Children's Services just watched me for two months and took me off supervised visits to unsupervised. Y'all are, you know, crossing each other. Like, you, it don't make no sense. So I hope they call, see through the bullshit. Yeah, me too. So, yep, that's pretty much what's going on. And if he's a good judge, if, if it's a good judge, then he's paying attention and he's reading everything. You know, I line for so. line. He, yeah, he's he's cross referencing everything. So I'm I'm hoping that because it, it, initially, you know, the judge also wants the best interest for the child, mm -hmm. but most judges want to see the child with their mother. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't want them to consistently be in the system. They don't want that. Right. Yeah, it's just everything um, saying is contradicting I think everything. Stephanie, I think they already put her in parenting classes. I think she's yeah. already um they already, already did the parenting, finished classes. the parenting classes, but they want me to do intensive parenting because you know they're saying that I'm slow. So wow, I gotta, I gotta do something more intensive. But my social worker said she got something for me, and I think she told me to only last six weeks. Good, that's good. So hopefully you can come home after that. Yeah. So, so you said back in December, is that when your hours changed with your son? Um, yeah, the same month that I had got the visitation, that's when the hours changed. Okay. And can you request, like, I know that you said they were understaffed. Yes, that's, um, I mean, my social worker said that she's going to request that I get more time as soon as they get some more staff. Okay. But okay. hopefully we don't got to worry about that because he'll come home before. Exactly. Anything. Yeah, exactly. 
Like they took everything from me. I was looking forward to breastfeeding and everything. My breast milked and dried up. It was horrible. I was so upset that I couldn't breastfeed. Wow. But you know, when your baby is not around you, the milk dries up. Yeah. And I, I can even say the guardian Melitum is for me too. She um, was like, I've never seen a mother who's as prepared as you. I've never seen anything like that. Like, you are awesome. She came to one of my visits because that's what they're supposed to do to see how I bond. And she was like, I have no complaints. You did perfect during a visit. So I guess next court day, next month, she'll be able to tell that. Your baby uh, was a preemie, right? Your baby was a preemie the last I, I, I think I was 36 weeks when I gave birth to him. And you know you're supposed to go 40. Yeah. Okay. And that was something that they were concerned about health wise because they said, oh, if, if they had a condition with failure to thrive, he's in the NICU. He's going to have a condition. What about what if he comes home on a feeding machine? Because he had to do feeds to a machine, an NG feeding tube. And I'm like, that's not what the doctors told me. I know how to listen very well. They told me he cannot come home from the NICU until he's graduated to a crib and until he's drinking a bottle. Right. That's definitely how it works in NICU. They don't send babies home on a feeding tube. Right. And I'm like, so then as soon as he got home, they took him from the hospital. I remember calling and asking about my baby because I still had the I still had uh, custody of him then. And I was calling to check on him. And they were like, um, is there something specific you want to know? And I was like, are y'all acting like it's not my child in the hospital? She was like, no, it's not that. It's just that Children's Services has custody now while he's still in the NICU. I'm like, are you fucking serious? They was basically telling me that I couldn't check on my baby and that the baby was now in children's services. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's what they'll they do up here, too. Once um CPS up here take over your baby, you can no longer visit the baby anymore. I was mm. like, what? Yeah, they do that here, too. Mm. And, that and every time you go to your parenting classes, sis, make sure you be there on time oh, so they can do all of that. I'll be early. Yeah. Because I'll be telling my child's father, stop... We got to stop going to these visits six minutes late because you want to pull out your driveway when you feel like it. You got to show up on time. He was like, that ain't nothing. They ain't going to. I said, don't say that because they could take this and be like, hey, if she late to a visit, she'll be late to a doctor's appointment and the baby won't be able to be seen. Right. You have to think of everything in a different manner, in a different aspect when you being late. They're going to be like, oh, okay, if she late to this, she's going to be late to this. They're going to look at that. So since I got broke that down to him, he's been showing up early. That's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope he continues to do that. Yeah, because I, you know, we can't, you're not going to make me look fucked up because when I'm by myself doing this by myself on the days you can't do it, I show up early and on time. What was your other three children preemies? No, none of them were preemies. Okay. They all okay. came home when I left. Yep. So yep. Well, you're gonna be all right, sis. You you you, you know you you keep keep going, keep doing what you're doing. You're doing great. Um, you 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 are inspiring people. Um, just keep the faith. Yes, keep the faith. Keep the faith. You know, stay away from negative things, negative people, negative places, and you keep rocking. You keep you keep rocking. You know, because we we already know how the system is designed. Mm, they yeah. want you to be upset with them. They want to say the wrong thing to you, and they want you to explode. Okay, yeah. oh, you gonna yeah. give me my baby back? This is what y'all doing to me? Blah 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 mm -hmm. blah blah. This is what they want. Don't give them what they want. Yeah. And I always think of it like that. And that's why I don't go through that. That's why I don't. Yes. Because this, this psychological evil makes me look like I do those things and I don't. Right. And they, they, they are here designed to make us look bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that, that's yeah. what they're for. And you would think that they would want to help you to keep your child in the home. Because where I live at in New Jersey, they don't take people kids like that. Wow. You know what I'm saying? They do everything to keep those kids in the home with the parents. Now, unless it's, it's really like drugs involved, you know, um, uh, domestic violence that's constantly keep going on and the child is being abused. Other than mm. that, they work together and keep those kids. Because let me tell you something, when CPS take those kids, that's money put them kids in the phones. Mm -hmm. That's money. Yeah. 
And in my state, there's a severe shortage of foster parents. Yeah, so they definitely fight to try to keep the kids in the home. Mm. Right. So you got this, sis. You got it. You got it. You got this. Most definitely. I'm and I'm going to keep on telling my story. I don't care how bad it gets. I'm going to talk about it. That's right. That's right. Making, That's making right. The money off my channel could pay for me a bomb ass lawyer that can get me to bring my baby home because I'm about ready to appeal it. I don't know if I can because of how many stages it went through so far. But I'm gonna ask, can this be appealed? Because I want it appealed. Yeah. So you feel like if they say that uh, about the baby boy now, the the little one. Mm -hmm. If you feel like that, they're trying to say that they're not going to release him and let him home. Yeah. They, well, they, they can't put him up for an adoption yet anyway, because it's still early. Because I, yeah. I I don't know about y'all state, but I was, the child have to be, I think, at least two. Yeah, you got two and a half. Is it two or two and a half? You got two and a half years to finish your case plan. And if it hits two and a half years, then something you ain't doing or you're not just cooperating, then that's when they look at permanent solutions. Right, that's what they do here too. Right, yeah. And you have a ways to go for that. You, 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 you have a ways to go. So that's why I said you keep pushing. You doing, yeah. do what you gonna do. Go to all those parents. Even if the baby father even miss one, you still go. Oh, I mm -hmm. still go. Cause when we was at that little meeting, he said there's gonna be times when, when, when I can't show up and she can. It's gonna be times when she can't. I said, don't say me. Cause I'm right. gonna ultimately, I'm gonna show up. Now you sound time. like me, girl. When you said that, I'm like, I, I'm like, uh, -uh <laughs> don't, 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 don't put me in. It's safe for yourself. Don't put me in Leave me out. <laughs> now, if I got something like I catch something like COVID, then yeah, I'm gonna let them know. I don't want to get my baby sick. Then that's different. But right. I'm gonna show up no matter what. I don't believe in not showing up. So right. Right. And the working car ain't, a, ain't an excuse not to show up for your fucking baby because it's a bus line out here and there's Uber and there's Lyft. Correct me if I'm wrong, now. You're right. You're right. Ain't no reason why you shouldn't get there. Mm-hmm. Right. So, no reason. Yeah. And that goes for anybody so, that got a case. Ain't no reason. And I'm saying it myself because I don't make a reason. Right. So in the state that you live in, right, if you don't have transportation... To get to different things like the programs they put you in, do they give you transportation? Because I say that because here they do. They give you um like um uh they call them like bus cars. They give uh -huh. you one every month. Uh huh. I got a stack about this thick of bus cars, and I didn't stack them up because they were sending them to me. And the only reason why I don't use them is because my baby dad takes me to the visits. But in the case that you don't take me to a visit or you can't show up, I'm there. And I'm 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 getting my schedule ready two hours before I'm supposed to show up, and I'm there. Okay, I got you, girl. Mm -hmm. I got you. Damn. You on? So they give you on classes. Okay, cause they do that here too, so yeah. it won't be no excuses why you know you yeah, can't show every up. Every week, every week she sent me five bus passes. I think I've got about maybe 50 or 60 bus passes. They in a thick little stack because I've been saving them because my baby dad take me to the visits. But when he don't take me, I go on my own and I catch the bus. Okay. And then two. Um, Pam says it's definitely shortest for foster parents. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then um, the way that I travel to uh, the visits with or without him, they done seen times when he ain't there and they done seen times when he's there. Most of the time he's there. So that mm -hmm. should show them right there. Damn, when dad don't show up, she right there. That right. shows that she could be independent and she knows there are going to be times when he can't be there. That don't just go for visits. That go for even when the baby come home. It's going to be times when I got to deal with this baby by myself because he ain't going to always be there. I live alone. I don't live with him. And he live alone and he don't live with me. So like, it's like when he not around, I got to know how to handle this baby by myself. They see me um, struggling a little bit, but getting it together when I'm at the visits by myself when he's there. And they see what, how it go when he's there. But I ain't got a bad report yet. All of the people that watch the visitation have gave good reports on what I do at that visit. Good. Good. So everybody is everybody that's on my cases for me, including the guardian of Good. That is, that is you work out, girl. Just keep fighting, baby. Fight that fight yeah. to the end. Don't give up. And I'm proud of you. I'm, I'm proud. I'm. I, it, it's a pleasure to really 
meet you and talk to you. Thank you. You know, I'm, I'm again, you know, it's a lot of people who don't, who would not and do not have the courage to come out and speak to your journey and, that's and exactly, speak through your journey. That's, that's, that's exactly what I like. The other lady said, I haven't never seen nobody like her. That's the point for me to put my ass out there, butt naked and tell what I'm going through without mm -hmm. being ashamed, without being scared, because it is shameful and it's scary to talk about because it's embarrassing. Like, but I want to be the first one doing something that nobody is doing. And I think I've done that. I think I've accomplished my goal. And yeah. not only that, I, I'm doing it because I want someone to feel inspired. Absolutely. And, you know, there's probably people just from you telling your story. There are people who are in similar situations or worse situations that you've been through you know, who are watching you and watching how, you know, you're maneuvering through this process. Mm -hmm. And that's how mm -hmm. I want it to be. Yeah. And I want them to be able to look at their computer screens or their phone screens or their iPad screens and be like, look, if she doing it, I could do it. She making me yes. want to do it. That's, yes. what I, that's what I'm pushing for. Yes. Right there. And that's how we create better mothers. That's how we mm -hmm. create, you know, a, a network and a community the way that we're supposed to be for each other. Mm -hmm. You know, we're supposed to help each other. We're supposed to to give advice. We're supposed to give resources when we see each other going through these types of things. That's what we're supposed mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So right. I wish what everybody else see, the judge could see. But you know, um, someone said, did they make him do? Did they make your um baby father do parenting classes? No, but we are definitely working on that because I talked to my social worker when I was leaving a visit. She came out in the lobby when I was on my way leaving and she gave me a hug and she said, um, do you feel that your child's father needs parenting classes? And I was like, yeah, he do. And she was like, you're not just saying that because you're being vindictive because you're at odds are you. I said, no, he really do need parenting classes. And he don't only need them for the baby. He need them for the kids he do got. And I'm just being honest. Because there's a lot of things that he can work on that I done told him he need to work on. And he ain't listening to me. The first thing he do is throw me under the bus and be like, well, look at where you at. You can't tell me nothing. Oh, I can't. Oh, okay. She yeah, she's not married, Stephanie. She's not married and they don't live in the same household. No, nope, I'm not married and we don't live in the same household. Yeah. No. But yeah, he be trying to tell me I can't tell him nothing because of my situation. He like, you don't even got faith. I got faith. But who got you faith? I did. I told you. Because see, back when we was about to start messing around, he was like, what's up? I'm trying to. I said, my daughter's somewhere else in another home. Unless you're trying to get her first, don't talk to me. And you know what he did? He went and got his daughter. I said, I will tell you how to file and get custody of her. I, just, I told him, I said, the only reason why I can't get her is because I'm not housed right now. If I was housed and not staying with a friend, I would definitely go down and file and get her. But I said, because you are taking care of two other children right now, it would look good on you to go get her. Other than that, we're not laying up. He rushed down there and got custody. Hold the chat down, um, um, Joanne. I got to get some. Okay. But yeah, he rushed down there and got went and went and got custody. And I walked him through it and he did it. Now that and the plan was for me to take him from her. Cause he said, when I get her, you can take custody back from me. We'll go to court and I'll just give her to you. Cause I know you want your child back. I was going to do that. What happened was I ended up with this damn case and I ended up pregnant. And I said, wait till after I'm done with my pregnancy. Let me see if I can handle the baby and her at the same time. I, I wasn't expecting to be, you know, pregnant that quick. Mm -hmm. And so he was like, okay, I'll keep her. But then I was like, then I ended up catching this case. And I was like, with this case, I don't need to get her. Because they'll try to take her too. Yeah. The shit that they're saying about me, they would definitely try to snatch her. So as soon as I can get this case closed with Ezekiel, I'll definitely get her back. But now is not the time because they had tried to take her too. So how old is uh Faith? Uh 15. Oh, okay. Yep, she's 15. And I'm the reason why he has her because I had to tell him, if you want to be with me, you gotta go get our child. Cause what I look like laying up with you and our child somewhere else. Do that even make right. sense? Right. Exactly. And, and that's what made me mess with him. I was like, okay, he really gonna take care of her. Okay. And then I was like, okay, he stepped up. I'm I'm a, I'm a lower down my walls a little bit, and that's how we started messing around. Gotcha. So, and then I ended up with another dad on baby, <laughs> and that's how that happened. So you have two with him. 
Uh huh. My fifteen year old is his, and my a uh my three month old. And I know people probably confused, like, hold on, but uh, why didn't he get the fifteen year old earlier? I'm gonna tell y'all something. I hid her from him. I literally had her. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna save him because he did say this when I was messing around with him before I had faith. He told me if you get pregnant, you are gonna have an abortion. So that was like when we was first messing around, and I was like, oh well, okay. I got pregnant. I remember that he said that to me, and I tried to have one. Mm -hmm. and it didn't go through because my uterus is tilted, and the doctor said if I go through with it, it's going to kill you, and I'm gonna lose my license. Oh wow! I said, I said, oh dad, so I gotta keep her instead of doing what he wished for me to do. So what I did was I kept. He knew nothing about her because the fact that you told me to go do that, and it didn't even happen yet. I, once it did happen, I wanted to carry out your wishes. The wishes didn't go through, and it was no fault of mine. The doctor didn't want to lose his license. And so what I did was I hid her from him. When she turned four years old, they wanted a DNA test. And I told them I didn't know who the father was. And I let the man that I was with at the time step up as the father and take a DNA test, knowing that the baby wasn't his. The test came back zero, and I said, oh, shit. I'm going to have to. I got to quit lying. I knew this baby wasn't his. He knew it wasn't his. He was hoping it was his. And so I said, I'm about to go tell the real father who that I got a baby by him. I called this man, told him, and he was in prison. And they what they did was, when I found out he was in prison, I went and reported to the court that he was in prison. They called him in prison, gave him a DNA swab for my 15-year-old, and they came back that she was his. So that's how that happened. When he got out of prison okay. and got his life together... He went ahead and pulled his life together, got to custody of two other children whose mothers passed away. And I asked him to take mine, and that's how he got mine. So I don't want okay. him to be like, well, why come he didn't then get her? That's why, because I hid her from him until she was four. And then we lost contact until she was um, 10. And then now, you know, here we are, he got custody of her. And I walk. Well, the point of the matter is, he got cussed up and he take care. You can tell he take care of her. Um, mm -hmm. she looks really great. <laughs> she looks well taken care of. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's like she she's a great time. She be complaining because she don't get clothes as often as she feel like she should get. But like I told Faith, he spent a lot of money on y'all getting y'all hair done, making sure y'all hair stay popped. Whenever she come over here with her hair done, he don't make me pay for that. He pay for that. And I told him I want him to put me on child support. He won't even do it. Oh, wow. He was like, no, I don't do that because I wouldn't want you to do that to me. And I said, oh, well, okay. Now, he want me to waive child support for Ezekiel, but that's, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be funny, but that's going to have to be, I, I kind of, not being funny, but the, the case that I have, they want to see that I'm going to go down there and get that check. And if I decide to turn that check down, that's going to look like I'm not trying to take care of my baby. So like I told him, I have to do what they tell me to do. If they tell me to go down and get the welfare check, I'm going to go do it. I'm not going to do what you want me to do. And then after the case is closed, we can waiver the child support. So that's, okay. the, that's the plan. Like, because I can't not do it. Because the judge literally asked me, she said, do you know how to get on assistance for the baby? And I said, yes. I know how to do WIC and all of that. I have other kids. And she was like, if you had to go down and get on um, assistance for the baby to get, like, you know, the money for the baby, would you do it? And I told her yes. So if she asks that I go down there and do that, and that's on the case plan, when he comes home under protective supervision, I have no choice. Child support is just going to have to come after you. And then when the case closes, I can waiver it, but I have to do what these people are telling me to do. Because they're making it look like I'm incompetent to know how to get community. Right, help. and then they want to make sure you got money to take care of that baby when the baby come home. Right. And so it's I'm something that's I want to talk to you about, but I would definitely do it offline. Okay. I will hit you up on the back end and talk to you about it. Okay. So, do y'all got any more questions? <laughs> Anybody in the audience? I don't know. If y'all have any more, if y'all don't have any more questions, she's gonna drop down. Um, I meant if she don't have a job. Wait a minute. I meant if she don't have a job now. How else would she support the baby? You would have to go and get some assistance. 
Oh, yeah, she just said that. And when I'm gonna say this you, like this, and I'm gonna, and this is something else I'm not afraid to admit. So I get SSI. I'm not slow, but the lady who, the lady who had custody of me when I was 17, when I turned 18, she used my medical records that said that my mom was drunk when she gave birth to me, and that they had to pump alcohol out my stomach when I was born. And they labeled me with fetal alcohol syndrome. So she used that to put me on SSI. So as of now, I get SSI. So that's how I take care of everything if people wanted to know. I'm not afraid to share that because I know I don't need to check. I'm very smart. I just got used to it and was on it for a long time. So I kept up with it. And that's just me okay. being honest. Okay. She used some records to put me on that. And really, I wasn't even supposed to be getting that because... She tried to get it in her name for me, and I wasn't supposed to know. I happened to go down to Social Security and get my Social Security card when I turned 18, and they was like, do you want your check to go there, too? I'm like, check? They are like, yeah, you get a Social Security check. You don't know who so-and-so is? I was like, yeah, that's my ex-foster mother. They was like, well, she's getting it in your name. I said, what? And that's how I ended up getting it. I said, oh, yeah, switch that over because that don't belong to her. Exactly, open book. SSI can be for a variety of things. That's nobody's mm -hmm. business. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, what was that? Um, open book. Could you um block that person in the comments right there, please? That person that just came in the comments. That last comment. Did you block them? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, it. one of them I blocked them. Thank you. I don't go for shit like that. Right. <laughs> well, yep. As far as my income go, that is how I'm surviving. But I probably won't need that for long either. So I'm about to start making income away from myself. Right. Right. So like, I, I want to read Robert's comment. He said, maybe Celestine can start a network or a podcast for single mothers that are raising children on their own. I think that's a, a an amazing idea. I actually think that's amazing, too. Here's the funny thing. <laughs> I graduated from media school, and that is one of the things we worked on was podcasting. My only thing is I, I have a podcasting mic, actually. I just have to get the hookup to my MacBook to be able to hook the mic to it, and I could definitely start that. I actually like that idea. Okay. So well, I'll be looking forward that. to it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. You, I mean, you have great conversation. I mean, you're, you're, you're very, very intelligent. Oh, thank you. Know, you. The, the sky is the limit for you, honey. The sky is the limit. Thank you. I just can't wait. You to got me, girl. Huh? What's she saying? You got this, boo. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. But, yep. If it, does anybody else have questions? Your daughter coming over this weekend? Yep, Friday. Friday evening. You glad, I right? She's going on spring break or something. So I may have her for a few days out of her spring break. It depends on what my freezer and refrigerator are looking. Because not only do I be taking her, I be taking her and her sister, which is his daughter. So I be over here caring for two kids. <laughs> oh, okay. Two go fast. So depending on what it looks like, she may be here during her spring break. So, yep. That's good. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Keep pushing. Don't 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 let nobody tell you otherwise. No. Right. You're a beautiful person. You're a Thank beautiful you. woman. Thank you. Keep your head held high. Mm -hmm. And God, is, God has already fought this. But it's already won. Your son is gonna. You're gonna be reunited with your son permanently. I believe that with my whole heart. Thank Absolutely. You. Because my social worker said the same thing. She said, I have no doubt that she's going to get her son back. And I was like, oh, man, she got, yeah. more, she got more confidence in it than I do. I'm just, the reason why I don't have confidence in it is because they made me go through a whole year and a half of a case plan. And I did, didn't get to get my kids back. So I'm a little bit nervous to be confident in it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's what's making me not confident. But yeah. Don't let them uh -uh. don't let them know you ain't confidence, baby. No, 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 no. I get up there on that stand in court and have as much confidence as I know to have. I will tell you that. 
But after it's over, I come home and I cry when it don't go my way. I ain't even gonna lie, but I I be up there. Yeah, because you have feelings. Mm -hmm. You have feelings. You have you, you still have feelings no matter what. You're human, and you know right. deep in your heart that you are trying to fight for your child. Yes. And while you're fighting, it makes you feel like you're losing at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But so I, I definitely know. want to see it. I'm praying yep. that, that children's services has more power than the courts. But mm -hmm. legal has more power than a children's services to me. Because they have the final say so. Right. But I'm hoping based off of evidence and how everybody feel about how well I'm doing, it, it will override everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm hoping. And I'm hoping that they come to a decision where, hey, let's put her under protective supervision. Because right. um, the baby needs to come home. Sis, let me ask you a question. Do you have Cash App? Yes, I do. Joanne, can you drop her Cash App in the chat? Does anybody want to bless her? Three, four, five dollars. There can bless her. Tell Joanne your Cash App and Joanne going to um, put it in the chat. Say it to her now? Yep. Yes. Oh. Hustle Lady 86. All right. It, I just dropped it in the chat. Okay. Yeah, so if anybody feel like they want to send her a blessing, God put it on your heart to send her a blessing. Y'all can send her a blessing. Y'all do decide to send blessings. I really do appreciate it. I'm thankful for everything, even if it's a penny. Because them pennies yes. add up. Do they not? <laughs> yes, they do. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. They definitely add up. I'm definitely just going to mm -hmm. keep striding and keep taking it, taking it a, step at, a step at a time. That's right. That's right. That's what you do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And even if you wake up and have a bad morning, you pray on it. When you know you got to mm -hmm. talk to them people, you pray before you, you, you know, you, you got a phone call. Say, for instance, if you'd be like, oh, well, yeah, let me get up and get together. Got to call me at nine. Pray. I definitely will. Because you want that phone call to go well and smooth. Mm -hmm. You know what so. I'm saying? Because sometimes the devil can send somebody to attack you in a split of a moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I, what, what? I'm just hoping, like, when Friday... Um, she, says your picture, she says your picture on your cash app? It's my, yep, it's a picture of me on the cash app. What color shirt you got on? Let me see. Let me see if I can look up my cash app on my iPad. Okay. Because I don't remember. Um, hold on. Uh, it's going to exit out of stream yard if I go to my cash app. Um, yeah. I mean, it may. Yeah, right, Joanne? Yeah, it kicked me out <laughs> when I tried to, because I'm on my phone. <laughs> Let me see something. Um, you got your Cash App downloaded on your um iPad? No, I don't got Cash App downloaded on my iPad. Can I download it real quick now and yeah. maybe, it'll still do it? Yeah. And then you can see. Mm-hmm. I like your iPad, girl. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. My baby dad wants this thing. He like, can I have that? You don't barely use it. I use it. I just, I I don't know. It's supposed <laughs> to be for editing when I started doing YouTube. And oh, so, you okay. Know them, you know when I'm, uh, it says enter your mobile number. I hope I got my new number attached to it. Yeah, whatever you, you number you got attached to it, enter it. Okay, let me see. Oh shit! I gotta go back. I put accidentally put the wrong damn one digit. Edit the phone number. Yeah, you got this, baby. You got it. I'm gonna mm -hmm. get through it. Well, God is good. Yeah, God is good. He's amazing. Yes. Okay. This cash up code is for you and only you. Okay, let me put my pen in. I'm about to show y'all so y'all know which one it is. Okay. Okay, it's done. And then it has an emoji picture. So it looks like this. I don't know if y'all can see it. 
Oh, okay. I see the emoji. She got a little emoji picture. Y'all see that? You see that, Gloria? It's like a little emoji picture with black little hair, big eyes. <laughs> yeah. It's like a cartoon character with eyes wide open. It's like a cartoon character. Let me know if you've seen it, Gloria. New device login. Yep, that's me logging in. Oh, yeah, because they definitely will ask you that. Yeah, they will. Yeah. Because I don't ever use it on my iPad. Because, you know, kids be nosy and they be wanting to see. Oh, you know. Okay. Yep, Hustle mm. Lady 86, and it says Celestine underneath it with a cartoon. Yeah. Lady. Whoever sent that, thank you. I appreciate <clears throat> it. Oh, my God. Thank you. She said, thank you all so much. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I'm here to answer any questions if there's anybody else that wants to ask questions. Yeah. Anybody else want to ask any questions? Would this be on a playback? Would I be able to play this back and look at the comments or something? Yeah. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I be wanting to back. You can go back to my live. Okay. You um you gonna have to show me how to do StreamYard on YouTube. Okay. All right. Because I'm gonna start going live every Saturday. Oh, good, because I'm off on Saturday. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> so you got right on time for me, sis. <laughs> yeah, so and then Faith will be here on Saturday. So yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. So everything will be everything. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, you just stay prayed up through it all. You know, I'm glad you came to share your story. Um, mm -hmm. just keep me posted with everything. I will. And um and the, the, the picture that I sent you of the screen yard, that's the one you want to pick. And then okay. I have you do the rest. Because I'm going to um, see what's in my budget after I pay bills. And I'm going to see if I could just pay for it every month. So, and do that one. But for right now, I think they said you get 20 hours free. Yeah. So, what you want to do when you do do it free, you don't want to stay on live a long time, like three and four hours because they eat your minutes up fast. Cause you want free airtime with them, right? So if yeah. you do a live, just stay for like an hour. You know what I'm saying? So okay. it can last you at least to, until you get renewal again. Because if you um, max out your airtime hours, then you can't go live no more until the they right into that next month of that same date. Now, if you okay. do want to go live, if you uh, if your watch time hours run out, if you do want to go live. You can go live straight through YouTube free. Okay. Yeah, and I, I need help setting up the tax information and everything for that too, if you know how to do that. Because they asking for a lot, but I don't know how to start that. All right, I'll help you out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it was nice talking and telling my story. I hope you guys yes from that and a lot of insight as to what's really going on. I've even told some parts that I ain't even told nobody else yet. So the <laughs> part that Miss Ma'am wanted, she didn't get it, but I gave it here. So right, right. So I'm gonna hit you up as soon as I finish my live. Okay. Um, do you have um uh, pampers and whites when you do your visits? If not, you should um sh yeah. She um she says she takes pampers and wipes and everything to her visits. Oh. I I don't, I don't allow the foster mom to use, I don't use none of her stuff. I got like, it's in my room, I think. I got a, I got a Mickey Mouse baby bag that I take. I take my own pampers, my own wipes. I got Buku wipes, pampers, everything for the next year. I take his own pacifier. I, in the morning before I leave, I fill up my bottle with um, water and boil it on the stove so it's warm when I get there. And the only thing I use is the milk. That's it. I bring all my own stuff because it looks good when you Yes, Gloria. She got your cash out, baby. She got it. She said thank you. Yep, I did get it. Thank you so much, Gloria. But yeah, I did. Um, I do bring my own stuff. I don't use, I don't even use the county stuff because I see a lot of moms, I, but it ain't my place to say nothing, but I see a lot of moms using the, the 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 children's services stuff. Like they'll go grab pampers and wipes from children's services and use their stuff. But really what they don't understand is they're watching you. 
if you using them to provide for your baby while you're at a visit, can you provide when you're at home? And even if that's not a question that they ask, I make it like it's going to be a question that they're going to ask. And I bring my own stuff. I know that's right. <laughs> So no, that's not good. I be seeing these moms be bitter talking about nah, I ain't paying for nothing because my baby ain't at home. You you not hurting children's services. You hurting yourself for your case. So I suggest you do your own, bring your own baby stuff. Never right. use their stuff. Now if you right. on something during a visit, different story. But bring your own stuff. Right. And then, make sure you got your phone put down. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. That's that. That's good. That's good. Well, I'm going to drop down, but Miss Celestine, All right. thank you, thank you so much for um, agreeing to do this interview with with D. Um, she is one of the most amazing people that you're going to meet on the internet. I, I can, I can tell, tell you right now. <laughs> You've been a yeah, she is. Yeah, she's Mama Bear. She's very protective, but she's definitely. She um, Miss Crawford, say, did you get her um cash app? Oh, let me check it. Thank you, Miss Crawford. Love you, Auntie Crawford. Not yet, I don't think. Nope, I didn't get it yet. I see. Um, let me see. Let me heart her because I got hers. Oh no, I was like, that's a sponsor request. Oh. No, but I got uh Miss Vernet's. Oh, that's her. Oh, I got Miss Vernet's then. I thought that was Gloria because I know somebody sent me something. Oh, you didn't get Gloria's? I got Vernet's. Vernet's was the only one I got so far. Oh, oh, okay. I thought you had got Gloria's. Gloria, she said she didn't. I thought I had got hers too, because I know I seen who it was, but I didn't see the name. The name is Vernet because she sent. 10. So, yeah, Vernette, I'll show y'all. Yeah, that is Vernette. You are. That's her. I see in the comments. Uh huh. Yeah. It's a um a cartoon emoji on my on my thing. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know if Gloria is still in the chat or not. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> but, yep. Um... I guess I'm going to go ahead and make me something to eat here. Yep. And we'll talk, mm -hmm. baby. We will definitely talk. Okay. Yeah. You have a great rest of the day. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for your family. And just be encouraged. Be encouraged. I and I thank y'all for your positivity. You're, You're welcome. Because I know you don't like the niggas. Um, yeah, I, I sent it. She said she, Glory said she sent it. Oh, uh, I hope she didn't make a mistake. I didn't get hers. Um, yeah, I didn't get hers. Nope. I didn't get it. <clears throat> did she, um, mm. you put my, um, it in the chat? I did. It's, uh, yeah. Hustle Lady. Hustle Lady 86. Yeah. Dollar sign first, right? Yeah, yeah, I think yep, dollar sign first. Yeah, it's in the chat. Yeah, that's who I sent it to. You sure you ain't gotta accept it? Because sometimes you have to accept it. Some mm -hmm. people. Oh, oh yeah, I got it. I just now got it. It came through. So she sent five because it went from ten to fifteen. So okay. Yeah, because yeah. sometimes it do take it, it do take a little while for it to come through. Yep. It, I it, 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 yeah, it'd be like that sometimes. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Thank You're welcome, you sis. So you I would that. definitely um I would definitely um talk to you on the back end, baby. Yes, I okay. will. And you have a great day. And thank you so much for coming up and sharing your story. I appreciate you so so much. You're very welcome. Okay, you have a blessed day. You too. And you have a good day too, Miss Joanne. I am the I'm gonna uh had had the lunch with hubby. He just got home, so <laughs> oh okay. Enjoy your lunch. Save me, but I'll be, save me I'll down. be in the chat. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. Yes, ladies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes.
Great story, y'all. Great story. Great, great story. She's going to be okay. Hold on, y'all. Let me just grab, um, let me just grab my water, y'all. One second. One second. All the way froze on me. Okay, guys, 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 I'm back. Did I see Rebecca in my chat today? I don't know. Rebecca may be in school. I probably didn't see her this today in the chat. Did I see Rebecca in the chat? So yeah, y'all, she had a good story. I met her on YouTube. She's a nice lady. We all go through something in life, y'all. We all go through something in life. Each and every day, we all do. Yeah, we all go through something. We just never know. And you know what's crazy, y'all? How people take other people's pain and they want to. Thank you, Pam. Thank you, my love. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, hold on, y'all. Let me see. Can I find it? Joanne making find it before me. <laughs> well, y'all know I'm slow in finding shit. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> y'all know how I am. Don't y'all don't y'all talk about me. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, one second, y'all. <clears throat> um. Give me a minute, y'all. I gotta find out how to. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. I'm trying to see how to drop her link. Come on. Give me one second, y'all. If I got it, let's see. Thank you, open book. Oh, come on. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying. <clears throat> She's trying to get her link up, y'all. Why is they not let me do it? What is going on here? <sighs> Thank you, um, Joanne. Now I always knew how to drop the links, and now this want to give me a hard time. Like, you can't be serious. Let me try it again. All right, let 
me go. I might need one of my mods to do it. Joanne, if you can drop it, you can drop it for me. For some reason, it's not allowing me to do it. I know I'm doing it right. Like, what is going on? All right. Joanne, if you can do it for me, can you do it? Because for some reason, it's not letting me do it on my end. I don't know why. I mean, I see it right here, but mm -hmm. thank you, Joanne. I love you, girl. And y'all, be positive because she don't like negative, and she will block you too. <laughs> you know, I've been following her for a minute. All right, let me get back to my other thing. Thank you, Joanne. Appreciate you, baby. Appreciate you, baby. Appreciate you, girl. Yeah, she's a very positive person. She's a very um, uplifting person. Miss Crawford, you still here, boo? If he is, is there? I tell y'all, we always definitely be thankful for y'all every day. Every day. We have something to be thankful for. Because you never know what someone else is going through with. You just never know. And maybe someone could be going through something even worse than you. Or they could be going through something just like you. You know? And you can y'all can be inspiring to each other. Or you could have said, Oh, I've been through that before. Like Stephanie was sharing her story. Thank you, Boo, for the dash app. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's what it's about, inspiring other people, helping other people. Don't talk negative on other people's lives because we don't know what our life can turn out tomorrow. Our life might <laughs> not be the same tomorrow. Yeah, she did stay quiet, took a kid, um, open book. She did. I had already knew her story, excuse me, y'all was hungry. I had already knew her story because I had been talking to her for a while on the back end. I just didn't ever say nothing. I wanted her to feel comfortable um, at sharing her story um, because she don't trust people. She had really bad trust issues like me. Um... She know how people say they love you, they like you, and they really don't. They're here to get in your business. So we share some little background stuff together. So that's how we became cool. And um, we started talking. You know, because I felt bad for her story, man. Oh, my God. It really touched me. It did. And what happened was... I had to hit Joanne up to give her a little background on her story. And ask her, what should I do? Because I really wanted to, you know, 
share her story. So um, she, you know, she told me she was she, she was okay. She just shared her story as long as everybody in chat was respectful to her. You know, because sometimes when people come in her chat, they be disrespectful, and she don't like that. You know, she said to share her story, not be disrespected and talk down on and, you know, um, things in that nature. So, I mean, I understand. I understand because you don't, listen, you don't want to be interviewed on nobody's platform and the whole chat dog in. You feel me? <laughs> you don't want that because I wouldn't want that because I dropped down. <laughs> you won't have to tell me drop down. I dropped my goddamn self down. You know what I'm saying? So that's how she felt. And I said, no, my people not like that. I said, all my people is respected, respectful. And I said, trust me, they're going to respect you in my chat. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I always tell her, like, you know, maybe don't go to everybody's platform and share your story because you might not get the same people in the, in the chat being respectful. You know what I'm saying? Because we know how some people in the chat, they, they, they be disrespectful to, 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 um, to, to the people on the panel. Um, you are awesome, Miss D. Thank you. Thank you. So I told her she ain't had to worry about that over here because she was going to be respected over here. I told her my people's not like that. I roll with some good people, you know, because I want her to feel like she was safe over here. I don't want her to feel like she's coming over here and, and she's getting drugged over here in my chat. So, mm -mm. You know, that's why I told her, if it's the actual question, if you feel like you don't want to answer, I respectfully, you don't have to answer it. You know what I'm saying? You got to get everybody up. You know, you can't, well, you came on my platform. My people asking you questions. You don't want to answer. So why you come up? That's not how I do my people. Mm -hmm. That's not how I do my people. Because if you as a content creator allow that to happen, you, 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 you'll never get people that want to come on your panel. <laughs> Never ever. You just won't get people coming on your panel. Well, where is Lisa? Because I'm looking for her. I didn't want to interrupt what I had for Lisa with this lady, so that's why I didn't tell Lisa to come up. But baby, baby, baby. Okay. So yeah, she's doing good things, you know. Um, she know how to blog, I can tell you that. She a first time coming, she blogged better than me, y'all. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> and um, yeah, she's doing good. She's doing great. Yeah, she's doing great. I'm happy for her. So, y'all, how was everybody today? So far, who at work? Y'all make sure y'all hit the like button for me, too, please. Okay, Erica. No problem, girly girl. No problem. No problem. Yeah, I'm an open book at work too. So yeah, I just had me a tuna salad in with some crackles and it was good. Yeah, that was my little that was my little lunch, y'all, because I didn't eat no breakfast. I really didn't eat no breakfast. I had so much going on I was doing this morning. I didn't even have time to really um, eat breakfast this morning because I had other stuff that I was doing. So, um, yeah. Let me just take this down for a minute. Oh, you doing laundry? Okay, girl. 
How you been, boo? How you been? How you been? And for everybody that order from me, I want to let y'all know, I'm going to send the orders out on Monday, not Friday. And the only reason I changed the date, the day that I was going to do it, because a lot of people order peach and cream lip gloss, and I don't get it until Friday. So my UPS truck driver comes around here maybe like noontime. So I don't want to go down and send those packages out. And they're going to turn around and ship more out on Monday. So I really just go ahead and ship everything out all at one time. So that's why I put it back until Monday because I know two people that did order that. So that's why I pushed it back. You know, I'm going to ship everything out Monday. So everybody still have a chance to order if they want to order or whatever. Um, everything is, is on my Instagram. The lip gloss is on my Instagram. You can see it. Um, inbox me the colors <clears throat> and I have them and the shades will be coming probably by next week I gotta track them down I do have the shipping the tracking them for them so I'm gonna be tracking them down probably by Thursday I track them down so yes So, um, let me, so you with the laundromat, boo? Okay. Oh, I'm looking for. Um, I love Miss D and all the ladies in the chat. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. I love the Amora live last night. <clears throat> Miss Amora had a good live. And um she was really she was really throwing some key points together. I'm gonna say that. She really, really was. Mm-hmm. So she had a very great um live yesterday i really enjoy her live until i fell asleep but she did have a good live and she did acknowledge me in her chat and she said hi to me so yeah she had a good live yesterday she really did everybody talking about p diddy oh lord what is going on with p diddy y'all <clears throat> What is going on? And then I seen something that cut came up between him and Usher. I'm like, what is going on with them? Hmm. Well, okay, that's interesting. I don't know if y'all seen it, but I seen it this morning. I seen that this morning, y'all. I don't know. I don't even want to say what I seen, but yeah, I seen it. I don't know if y'all seen it, but I seen it. So I don't know. Um, I don't know if open book in the chat yet or not. I don't know, cause I was gonna ask her, ask her that she see um the thing about us and, and P Diddy. Cause I know she at work. Yeah, they said that Usher <laughs> allegedly and P Diddy had something going on, honey. And they said allegedly uh, what P Diddy said, what Usher said, allegedly that P Diddy gave him an STD. Did you see that, Joy? <laughs> Girl, I had to say it like that, child. Yes. And I'm like, what? I'm like, this can't be real. Like, 
don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all heard about it. Yeah, do y'all believe it? I don't know. But they said this happened when, yeah, Joanne. Mm -hmm. I wish I can go back to it, Lord. I forgot why I seen it. I was strolling and seeing it. I started reading it. I said, well, Lord, my God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The end from, oh, Lord. See, I don't even want to speculate. I don't even know if I can get back to that shit. But that's what they said. They said, well, Usher is speaking out now and saying what P. Diddy did to him when he was young. Yeah. Mm hmm Right, Miss Hill. Right. Absolutely. You're correct. Yeah. I think Usher was like 15, 16, something like that. That's what I read this morning. Yep, I read this morning. I couldn't believe what my eyes seen. I'm like, wait, this can't be true. Like, are you kidding me? I'm like, man. And see, like, when things happen, that's when everybody come out with their story. <clears throat> everybody. Usher, mom should have never let her son go to P. Diddy's camp. Oh, this happened when they went to a camp? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know that part. Usher mom took him away from, from P. Diddy because, oh. Whoa. Wow. Because that's what I seen, y'all. I seen it this morning. And I and it came across me, call, call, came across my timeline. And I just said, let me click on this and see what it's about. And I clicked and I started reading it. I'm like, oh my God, I never heard about this. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. I never heard about that, y'all. And maybe I did, but just don't remember. But um, yeah, I read it. So they was really sleeping together. I'm good, boo. I've been good. Just holding on, baby. Yep, just holding on. You know? Everything been going good. Can't complain. So I'm like, damn, they were sleeping together. Like, wow. That's crazy, crazy, crazy. Mm. That is so crazy. I can't believe that. So we got a allegedly we got another uh the Kelly boy. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna say. The Kelly boy. Cause that's what it sounds like. <clears throat> what do y'all think P. Diddy is over? Do y'all think uh, you know dug his hole for himself? Mm. 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 Wow, that is so crazy. Shit, somebody hit me up last night and said, well, you know, D, when you do stuff in the dark, it always comes in the light. And that is so true. That is so true. It is absolutely true. You can do something 20 years from, the, from now that had already not happened. You know, and one person come out and, and speak upon you, the next one, all the bees will come out. They'll start to fly from nowhere. Everybody got something to say. Oh, yeah, she did this to me. You know, when I was this and I was that age. Same thing about a man. This is what's going on. So, 
You know, I guess everybody got their time for the be, you know, everybody got their time, y'all, for the be, you know, exposed. That's what I say. Everybody got their time to be exposed. I don't think he has something to do. I do think he has something to do with Kim. Yeah, that's what they were saying too, Miss Hill. They were saying that too. And they were saying that they believe he has something to do with uh, the guy too. Uh, um, you, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I can't think of his name again. But yes, they saying they're looking back on all that stuff now. Everything. That's what they say. Hey, Deanne. That's what they were saying. Everybody said that. I mean, I remember when all that happened, but I never like, I never thought that way about it then. But now I guess that all this just happened. Like, so now I'm thinking like, oh yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. A possibility. I'm preparing pork tenders, green beans, and bacon, smoked turkey wings. I'm doing laundry and going to walk today. Crazy with P. Diddy. What is going on with him now? <laughs> Lord, they got a lot of stuff going on with him, Brittany, 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 Brittany. They got a lot of stuff going on with him, Brittany. Now they got some shit coming out this morning. I read about him and Usher. And allegedly, they said Usher is speaking up too now. They said they even messing with Usher when Usher was a little. I read that this morning. And that's why Usher mama took him away from me. And I was like, well, damn. <laughs> um, the baby's mother said she had something to do with his unalive as well. I wish um I always I always said that. See, um yes, yes. Brittany, yes, Miss Hill, yes. Mm hmm everything coming out now everything everything i'll be i'll be you know i don't follow all these people i don't want to follow all of that you feel me i don't like all that shit coming down my timeline but if i'm strolling to the streets and i see something you know that catch my eye i would definitely click on it and watch it but for as me um subscribing to those channels to keep up with nah i ain't doing none of that but yeah they're saying you know, my Amy has something to do with it too. Really? Wow. Wow. Cause when that came down my timeline this morning, I was strolling through the streets and I seen it. I said, uh-uh, I got to read this. And when I seen that about Usher, I'm like, what the hell? Cause I never heard of that. I never heard of that one. But I'll be sure I heard of that. Mm-hmm. I heard of that. And I heard about the story with um PD the baby mama. Mm-hmm. I heard that PD Flee. Well, I think somebody said he got caught though, Robert, didn't he? Did someone say he arrested now? That's what the people saying. I don't know. Shit, I ain't heard the news people say it, but that's what some people saying. So I don't know. Oh, I'm not really sure if he arrested or not. That's why I said Brittany him and Usher. I said, what in the hell is going on? Mm. You'd be surprised, y'all, what really comes out about people. You'd be surprised. You'd definitely be surprised. Because I was surprised when I seen that. I really was. When I read it this morning, I was, I was, I was like, wow, I can't believe it. Not saying I can't believe it that. You know, it didn't happen because I don't know. I'm just saying I can't, I couldn't read the article as I was reading it, you know. <clears throat> and they were saying that P. Diddy took a, um, allegedly he took a, 
he took advantage of him when he was young, and um, that's how he became sickly. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just felt like that shit weird. Wow. So y'all is telling me, right? Well, listen, not y'all telling me from what I'm reading from that article. So it sounds like P. Diddy, uh, I ain't even gonna say his name no more. It sounds like he's a two-way street, if y'all get what I'm saying. Do you all think he has something to do with people saying it? People saying, it. I don't know, but that's what people saying. That's coming out too. That's what people saying. I guess everything I finish coming out, Erica, everything will finish coming out, everything. You see how all um old boy stuff came out? Everything he did had came out. Mm -hmm. Robert said he thinks so. <laughs> Robert said yes. Mm. Wow. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I know when I get off live, I do got. I came across this other guy channel. I want to watch his channel. I got to because, hey, sometimes you stroll through the streets, you can see, you you can get some answers for a lot of shit. And uh, I I I I don't know if Joanne's still in the chat or not. Um, I had started watching half his video, and it was time for me to go live, so I stopped. But I did subscribe to his channel because I need to keep up with that story. <laughs> <laughs> I need to keep up with that story. I need to know what's going on. But P did the story. I'm not gonna subscribe to nobody because the news people telling the same thing. So I can, you know, shit. I'm subscribed to a lot of news channels on YouTube, so I can get it from the news. I don't want all this stuff coming down my timeline. Some stuff I don't want down my timeline. Stuff, stuff I do, and the stuff I don't want down my timeline, y'all block it right out. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I don't know. Well, wait, all P did a kid. Oh, no, he got one baby, right? They said the baby, too. So, all his other kids is grown, right? Except for the two year old. Right, y'all? Because I stopped keeping up with him, <laughs> listen to his music. Like, like when it comes to the celebrity thing, I'm not into like keeping up with what's going on with them and stuff like that. If I like that music, I buy it. Or if I really like them, you know, if something go wrong on the on news and you know, but like keeping up with all this celebrity stuff, I ain't into all that. Um, yes, I'm gonna into. Hmm. Oh, those? Oh, they twins? Oh, okay. I thought they was. Cause they look just alike. Okay. So, are they grown yet, Miss Hill? Cause he wait. All right. Somebody said he does have the twins, but they say after the twins, he had another baby by another woman, and they said that baby is two. Now I I stopped, you know, keeping up with him a long time ago, so that's why I was asking. But I did know about the twins. Okay, okay, got you. Got you, Miss Hill. Yeah, a lot of them, I don't really like keep up with all that stuff. Yeah, those twins are pretty. Wow. Mm 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 mm. Lord. Mm. P. Diddy, you better go sit down somewhere where you already probably sitting there. So the, is he really locked up, y'all? Because I don't know. Somebody came in my chat the other day, I think. That was day before yesterday or something said they did arrest him. So I really don't know. 
I didn't hear it from the news people. So I really don't know. So that's why I was asking y'all, did y'all hear it on the news anywhere that they did arrest him? I really don't know. I know it's hot on YouTube. I know that. I see. It's like YouTube keep up with more new stuff than Facebook. Facebook, like the bloggers over there, you will find some on, you know, sharing the news, but not as many people over there that you'll see like sharing the daily news and over there um, on Facebook. You don't see that like that over there on Facebook like you do YouTube. Yeah. But YouTube, yeah. So for all the new stuff, you would definitely get it over here on YouTube. You definitely will. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, y'all. I was looking for Lisa. I'm going to get off at 4 o'clock. I think I'm going to get off early. Just relax and chill. Watch me some TV. Oh, you know what? I forgot to hit up. Um, Let me hit up True City right quick because I forgot to hit her. I've been so busy doing other stuff. Trying to find me some new content, you know. Yo, know. did the lady did the lady come on today? Yeah, she came on. You have to go back and watch the replay. Where you was at? Oh, goddamn! <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, I I I got started. I got some new people that stay by me, and we be chopping up. We be running our mouth, talking all day long. I'm telling you. So, yeah, oh man, I gotta I gotta go back and watch that. Yeah. My, I bet it was good too. Mhm. Mm yeah. Man, so what's going on in these YouTube streets? I don't know. I was just sitting there asking them questions about P Diddy. Now they said Jay Z next. Yeah, I heard that, Erica. Now what's scaring yeah, me about all this too. is I know some of y'all kind of like, oh, we getting the people from the top. But what I'm kind of scared of is it too many black people that they're tearing down. That's what I'm scared of. Well, you mean with the, in, into the uh, <clears throat> you these mean billionaires? With the, these billionaires they got Bill Cosby. Now they ain't got PDD. It's like they going back creating these laws to try to go back and get people. Like these laws weren't even in effect at first. You know, they saying that they saying that some grown. I don't understand how they saying that grow a grown you a grown person. That person didn't force you to do no. You they told you to have sex with these people and you did. I don't understand that. Mm, 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 mm. I know this morning I was looking at something too. They said that I try to I'm gonna be careful with my words because they said that Usher was speaking out against P. Diddy too. I read it this morning. Uh, well, Usher, they trying to say on the award show that he said, Welcome, uh, I wanna thank I wanna thank the devil, but he he was trying to say another word. <laughs> and it came out, he said, Thank the devil. So I don't know. Since then, I think everybody kind of replayed that so many times. So maybe that's why he's trying to. Uh, maybe that's why he's trying to, uh, you know, change it now and say uh, that now that he's speaking out against P Diddy. But they said his mama asked him to tell the truth because she said she was gonna go back and sue P Diddy if he was messing with Ursula during that time when he was a matter. Hey, Robert. Yeah, because he was only 15 years old. <laughs> he accidentally said devil. He was trying to say another word. I forgot what word he was trying to say, but it had, it had uh, due diligence. It had something in it from the beginning. It, sim it was similar. He didn't, he couldn't get it out right. And then he said, thank the devil. It's on TikTok, though. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, um, well, you know, because uh, Usher used to go to P. Diddy camp. Yep. I think that's where it all started at, too. 
Mm -hmm. I think that's where it all started. Because they said that uh, Usher's mother took him out of the camp. Hey, Lachelle. Lachelle, no, she's something else. She she cut up last night <laughs> on, on Cheese Channel. <laughs> we had some fun over there. Shit, yeah, I probably was asleep. <laughs> When I, I left for every now and then you'll wake up and jump on DM came over there too for a minute, but yeah, he said he got to get down. I was in a more live and I fell asleep on her live. Oh, for real? You've been oh, you've been going over the cross street because I know uh she said that they was having fun over there a couple weeks, well, last week or whatever. Well, last night she had a dope live. She really did. Like she spoke facts. <laughs> she spoke all facts about self love and all of that stuff. She spoke real true facts. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Hey, listen, go back and listen to a live, and you'll understand what I'm saying when I say that. I don't even want to go there, but she spoke facts. Yeah, yeah. self love is definitely very. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, self love is gonna be the very the most powerful thing in life that you can ever do is to love yourself first. You know what I'm saying? And to love yourself, you know what I'm saying? Where you don't put yourself, where you don't, you know, where you always feel good about yourself. You know what I'm saying? Right. And self love comes with a lot too. Like Amora said, and I've been saying too, like. You can't, you, how, how you gonna love yourself when you are here letting men talk to you, do you in any kind of way? And every time you meet a man, you just go on to fall in love with him and go on to sleep with him. No, baby, don't love yourself, honey. And then you see, listen, a lot of people, um, you know, I don't know, because a lot of people feel like they're married, you know, or they've been with a guy maybe for 15, 20 years or maybe eight years. and. They feel like, oh, well, we're never going to get a divorce. We're never going to break up, this and that. We've been together for a long time. Oh, I'm going to keep having children. No. I feel like, this is just my opinion. I feel like in a marriage, in a relationship, I still feel like it should be like, know your limit with your chil with children. I say, because you never know when this man may leave you. We, we're not promising a man every day. And then what? Yeah. You're, stuck. You, you're stuck with all them children. You know what I'm saying? And you like, you like, like your girl, Mahogany World. Right. You talking, talking about, uh -huh. Right. And, 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 and you're going to be stuck left there with all them kids. Okay. Yeah, you might get a little child support, but that's still going to be a lot on you. I mean, everywhere you go, you got to drag the kids with you. And, you know, if you don't have family support like that, you know, it's going to be even harder. You know, so I would just say, you know, I mean, that's how a lot of these women mean. end up killing these kids too, because they don't have no, they don't have nobody to keep them kids, and they be driving them crazy. I believe. Yeah, I'm I mean, like, I, is that bad? <laughs> you know, I just feel like, and, and and not only that, I mean, the way the world is today, with all this evil and violence going on, I wouldn't keep wanting to bring no innocent children into this world. No, I would never ever want to bring another child into this world with this world looking the way it looks today. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing is, it's too expensive, okay? You, you, uh, a, a lot of people may say, oh, well, I got money. I can take care of my child, okay? But you're not rich, <laughs> okay? Now, what you can say, I can do the best I can for my child. But if you're not rich, you can't give this child what they really, really need, okay? Because you're living maybe day by day, month by month. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So, I mean, you, you just, you don't know. And always protect yourself from a man. Because, again, you don't know when this man may leave. This man can give you four kids and five kids. And look, this is a good point to you. Look how he did mahogany. Left her. Uh -huh. went, went cold on her. Went cold on her. Yep. And she got like six kids, man. Yeah, went cold on him. You know, so I mean, exactly, Miss D. Yeah, so I mean, I don't give a damn if you married or got a boyfriend, you've been for six years. Why you want to keep having babies? Like, that shit don't make no goddamn sense to me. Like, <laughs> listen, 
listen, my daughter is 34 and she got one daughter, her daughter 17. She said she would never have no more children. She did want a Ooh. second one, but it didn't happen. My other daughter is 35. She have 11 and a three-year-old. She don't want no more. It's over. My other daughter is 20. She's 30. She's 30. She's 30. And she got an eight-year-old daughter and she don't want no more. My kids know it's rough out here. It's rough. Right? And my daughter mm -hmm. said, Mommy, it'll just be my luck if I have another baby and I got to go through shit worse than what I go through with my first baby. And I don't... Because her first baby father... He gets the baby for the whole summer. He gets the baby for Christmas. He gets the baby for Easter. So she don't really have issues. But what she's trying to say, she can slip up and have a baby by another guy. And then she don't get no break. She with the baby all the time. The father don't want to take care of the baby, don't want to see the baby. She just she don't want to, she don't want to um put herself out there like that. Mm-hmm. That's smart. It's smart because, like, uh, I think my generation, we had a lot of kids. Well, listen, because shit wasn't like it is today, boo. We wasn't like uh, it is today. Okay. When I had, when I, listen, when I had my children, mm -hmm. baby, things, rent was cheap, clothes, pampers. You can get a, you can go to the to, to the store and get a can of Similac milk for a dollar and forty nine cent, baby. You mm -hmm. you can go to these little pop popping those fucking stores and shit. You can get a bag of pepper for nine ninety nine, baby. You ain't getting that shit no more. Mm -hmm. Those fucking same joints that these people out here paying two hundred and fifty dollars for. Them joints was sixty five dollars back in the day when my kids was coming. The same joints. Yep. I remember when studios was four fifty. Come on, Kim. Kim no. Kim no. Kim know the shit. Kim in the chat. Kim in the chat. She know the shit. She know what I'm talking about, goddamn. Mm -hmm. You know, shit ain't like a what. Mm -hmm. Also, Miss D, you can be rich if you if you can't slow the kids, if you can't show the kids unconditional love. Money doesn't matter. You got that shit right, girl. You gotta all read them a goddamn book the same time. Then you put this one to bed, and you know you gotta spend time with this one. You know you gotta mm -hmm. make time. Like it's just too it's too time consuming. I ain't no, nah, I ain't. I don't know. They need new parents. They don't believe in whooping ass because uh, I believe I used to whoop ass. I don't know what these new parents do. <laughs> hmm. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> they doing. They had to go somewhere and sit down. You couldn't do it. You couldn't be ripping and running through that damn house with uh with grown folks and stuff like that. You had to sit down somewhere. Right. You just know how to act. All that whining and crying they be doing these new new parents that be sitting up these seeing the kids. They be whining and crying. All this stuff right there. We couldn't do all that going in them stores and stuff. Because we can't get what we right. want. Right. Yeah, yeah you got to raise them. You got to be able to put something in them so they'll know how to carry themselves through our life. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, so yeah. I guess times have changed because then relationships, a lot of people don't stick in relationships like they were used to. You want two parents to be in the household. That's mm -hmm. true. Mm hmm That is so true. So, you know, I mean, things is not like it is. It just, it's not, you know. And then, you know, you can have two kids, right? And then, you know, now you got another one. So you got to fall back on the little things that you were doing for the other ones. Because mm -hmm. now you got the third child. So you can't, you got to be, you're trying to be equal now. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, well, yeah. Well, you got to have a little money now. Got to have a little change. So you can go get three, four outfits. You got three kids. You got to be able to buy three, four outfits, three, four pair of tennis shoes, Crematide car. They got to have all that type of stuff. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Because I used to buy my kids stuff in books, though. I mean, like, if Christmas time, they get all of them. They got three, four pair of tennis shoes, and and they had so many outfits and clothes and shoes and stuff. And then, you know, they had school uniforms. So they wore the uniform school, and, on the, you know, we get ready to go somewhere. They wore their real clothes, but they had to come home and take them tennis shoes and stuff off. And, you know, I remember back in the mm -hmm. day, right, like, mm -hmm. when I was having my kids, I don't know if they still got the places now, but I know in Jersey where I live in, they had a lot of places, right? You can lay away Christmas toys every year from start October the 1st, yep. right? It, it started October the 1st. The deadline, I think, was like the beginning of no December. 
right? They don't even got that shit no more. You got to mm -hmm. spray. You go ahead and buy Christmas toys now. You got to pay straight up cash, okay? Mm -hmm. Straight up cash. Or the kids ain't getting nothing. So a lot of things have changed. That's why people need to sit down and really see. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got that money to buy no four and five kids enough for Christmas, then you shouldn't be sitting out here having all them goddamn kids like that. You know, you can't get mm -hmm. five kids Christmas things that they want. Yeah. Because there's no more layaways. Now I don't know if every yeah. state like this, but I know in New Jersey where we stay at, they don't do that layaway shit no more. They stop that shit. And you know, I'm glad they show you that for that because you could buy, you could lay away them bikes, them you could have bikes in there, the yeah. video games, Madden one, Madden two, two, all type of stuff. You remember Walmart used to do them layaways? Walmart, Walmart, don't even Walmart, do all day. Mm -hmm. Walmart, Target, all that, and that was good because it gave you the upper hand on, you know, like getting things out the way early. You know what I'm saying? You can start the kids layaway early be like okay the christmas layaway every week every two weeks you pay on it you get it off but it ain't none of that no more <laughs> girl it's yeah, terrible out here girl, it is. Is. It's it's I, don't, I don't even know how these parents doing it without the layaway i'm sure i'm glad on my days are gone with it oh, hey, i don't boy, know how these parents you doing without the layaway man. you got three four kids yeah it's a lot. Know, and then, see, when, you, when you start getting teenagers like 13, 14, it, it, that, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Because you can get them a gift card. When kids get that age, they want to do their own shopping. They, child, uh uh. They ain't with all that. They want to get them a gift card, let them go on about their business, honey, because they love to shop for themselves. A gift card is good for them. But when you got the young ones, you know, it, it's different. You know, the oldest ones are easier to me. As they get older, like 12, 13, 14, 15, they are easier because um, you can get them their little own little money and they go, you know, do their own little shopping. They love to do their own little shopping. Yeah, so. Yeah, I'm teenage, yeah, because that's why I like with my daughter, though, because like she's 16 now. And I be telling them, man, y'all got to, you got to get your, you want to spend some money, you got to get your job. You know what I'm saying? Get you a job, honey. It's time for you to. Uh, my daughter works. She too. She worked two jobs and she still go to high school. Mm -hmm. Tell me, so mom, one of these jobs got to go. Yep. She like mom. One of these jobs got to go. <laughs> I said, like, baby, well, like, you keep where well, you keep buying all these wigs and getting them installed and all these tennis shoes and you want to be the finest thing in the school, well, baby. You better keep on working. <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 Miss Hill. Yeah, Miss Hill. Um, uh, my granddaughter did that one time. Her mom gave her money. She went right on Amazon and looked up what she wanted. Her mama ordered it. Mm-hmm. Yes, my 14-year-old daughter ordered offline and we just paid for it. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I heard they got a uh, a nice um, I don't know because I don't got TikTok. They were saying they got a a, a TikTok shopping uh thing over there like they had a website or something over there on tiktok that they people order stuff off and my daughter told me she ordered a lot of stuff off of that for her daughter she said it's nice mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's a, mm -hmm. it's a tiktok shop or something like that maybe somebody in the comments know what i'm talking about but i because you know, i don't have tiktok um and i was watching this lady page she ordered this cooking thing off of the tiktok website that shit nice i'm like damn let's see can i find that on amazon because I don't have TikTok. And then this other guy I follow too. He said he ordered a lot of stuff off TikTok. Um, they do. Oh, okay. Oh, it's nice, Miss Hill. I knew someone in the comments was gonna know what I was talking about. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they said TikTok got some nice stuff over there. Mm-hmm. This girl be ordering blankets, comforters, and I'll be like, oh, okay. Shit, I ain't know you can shop over there. In the little TikTok, hey, okay, they got it going on over there, huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you shop off there too, Miss Hill? Okay. I order a lot from TikTok. Okay. So it's people in the comments that knew about it. They knew about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, TikTok shop. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's oh, the name of it. TikTok shop. Yes. Um, she said, I have some nice stuff. Oh, okay. That's what it is. TikTok shop. Mm-hmm. That's what people were saying it was. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, because my daughter said she um she orders off of that too. I never knew nothing about it until she says I was like, what is a TikTok shop? She said, Mom's a website, you can go in there and order different stuff. I said, Oh, okay. 
she you order stuff like you ordering from Amazon and stuff. I said, oh, but she she ordered her daughter some nice swells off of there um this past Christmas. I just ordered a dresser off TikTok shop. Really? Okay, Erica girl. Girl, send me a picture of it when you get it, girl. Okay. I ain't know they sell stuff like that. Because I'm going to send you a picture of this thing, Erica, that this girl told me that she got off of TikTok, too. I, I can't really, like, describe it, but I'm going to send you a picture of it. And um, I came across her um, her channel. Her, on, on, matter of fact, on Instagram. I follow her on Instagram. And um, I was on her live, and she said, yeah, y'all get this. I ordered from TikTok. And I'm like, TikTok? I'm like, TikTok sells stuff? And then um, my daughter was like, yeah, mom. It's called TikTok shop. You can order everything. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to send you a picture of Erica. She told me she ordered, she she got it off TikTok. She told me that. And um, it's like a, um, let me see if I got it. Cause I think I screenshot it and kept it because I wanted to see can I find it somewhere else because I don't have TikTok, you know, to go up there and order anything. So I'm going to see if I still got it and I'm going to send it to you. Let me look now. And it was really, really nice. I was like, oh shit, I need this in my life. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. Right here, Erica. I'm gonna send it to you right now. Let me see, can I share it with you into your Instagram inbox? Let me see, can I find you? Okay, I got you right here. I just sent it to you, Erica. Yeah, I just sent it to you. And I'm like, oh, okay. I would love that for my kitchen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I never know about no no TikTok. <laughs> I never know about no TikTok shop. I was like, what? He said, I'm getting old here, huh? She was like, no, Ma, you just don't be on TikTok. You don't have TikTok. That's why you don't know. Yeah, she said she ordered nice stuff for her kids. Mm -hmm. Let me know if you see it, Erica. Cause I screenshot it because I want to see if I can find it on like Amazon or something. I like it. I really did like that. I was like, I can use this in my life. And she had dropped the link and everything like in her um, live and told people they can go and shop over there and stuff like that. Yeah, baby, I use that, honey. I'm mm -hmm. still not find it, though. She cannot find it. Shit, you can use that for more than one thing. Really nice. But yeah, uh uh, honey. Kids, is a, it's, it's costs a lot to have children nowadays. A lot. Even in Pampers, it's high. Oh, God, Lord, especially if you want some good ones anyway. Should I think them thing about $30 a case now, y'all? Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. I can't do it. Ooh, all the wipes and all of that stuff, it's just it's a lot. It is. It's just a lot. I'm oh, waiting on Erica to tell me she said. I know she had work. Oh, <laughs> Erica say, oh, baby, I need that. Me too, Erica. I want that. Erica, look and see how much it costs on, um, on the TikTok shop. See how much it costs. <laughs> Erica say, say, oh, my God, I need that. Yes, that's nice, right? Yes, those kids will have you. In a situation you know nothing about, you better say it. You better say it. <laughs> I'm gonna sit there to Africa, Africa, like, oh, baby, I need that. <laughs> I need it too, Africa. That's why I screamed, shot it, and kept it. 
Okay, Erica, let me know, baby. <laughs> um, I ordered a phone case from them and it came fast. Oh, okay. Wow. I never knew they had a TikTok shop until um I seen this lady and I asked my daughter about it because I know she got TikTok. She was like, Yeah, mom, you can go up there and order whatever you want. They sell confidence and everything. And she was like, That's where I got um my baby um stuff from. She said she bought the baby some nice sweaters from back to school from from, from the TikTok shop thing. Okay. I didn't know that. You learn something new every day, huh? Erica said she's going to look it up right now. <laughs> yeah, you can do a lot with that, Erica. Yeah, I like the that. That is really, really nice. Shit, Stephanie, you might like it too if I send it to you. Shit, Erica said she's looking it up right now. I'll send it to you, Stephanie, if you want me to send it to you. Let me see. Let me see. Send it to Okay. I think I just sent it to you, Stephanie. Look at it. See if you got it. She Erica said she bound one now. <laughs> I was like, Erica ain't playing. She said, shit, I need that. You can do a lot of shit with that for real, for real. I ain't never seen no big skillet that long. Like, damn, that shit long as hell. Oh, I would love to have one. I told you, everybody. Yes. Ain't this nice, Erica? I'll send it to you, Miss Crawford. Hold on, let me find your Instagram book. I'm going to send it to you now. Hold on, Miss Crawford. I'm looking for you. Erica popped right up because they always fucking talking to me all the time. That's why their name just came right up. I'm looking for you right now to see. That's Rebecca. Okay, Miss Crawford, I sent it to you. I don't know what TikTok had things like that. I only have Facebook. Well, you better make a TikTok, Miss Bridget, Miss Brittany. Brittany, you better make you you better you 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 better you, you better make you an Instagram and everything. <laughs> they have it on TikTok, but it's a small one. Oh, so so so, 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 so they don't have no more long ones like this? Cause she said she got hers from TikTok. Maybe you have to um. Maybe you have to wait until they get them back in stock. Maybe you you think they out of stock? I don't want the small one, goddamn it! I want the long one. <laughs> Erica, I need the long. One. I need to do everything with it. Uh. What's eight days? No, I don't see the long one, but I'm about to. To send it to you, okay? Cause, I, cause I, I, don't, I don't want the short one. Mm -mm. I don't want the short one. Oh shit, Miss Crawford said she loved it too. She was like, "Wow, I love this." Yes. Okay, send it to me, Erica. Miss Crawford just hit me up. She said she loved it too. <laughs> hey, Kathy. Yeah. 
shit. I need that for real. Oh my God. You know what I can do with that? Yo, you can actually, this thing right here, you can cook three things at least at one time with this. That'd be a whole dinner. Like, for real, for real. Miss mm -hmm. Crawford says she love it. Miss Crawford, you gonna get one? Oh, I love it too, Lord. I'm just looking at this thing like. <laughs> Yes. Stephanie, you still here, boo? I didn't know if Stephanie gonna get one. And it's another lady too that I follow on Instagram. She got one off of TikTok too. <clears throat> her and her and this girl here. Yeah, she got one off TikTok too. And she go. I don't know, Miss Miss Crawford. You got TikTok, or you can ask um Brittany. I mean, Erica or Stephanie, because they both have TikTok. They can look it up probably for you. Or and or either go to Amazon, see if Amazon got them. I don't know, like, you know what it would be, you know, over there on TikTok, because I don't have TikTok. But you may can find that on Amazon too, Miss uh, Miss Crawford. I have a store out in California where they sell stuff like that way cheaper than the stores. Well, how much they call Stephanie? Stephanie? Shit. What do you mean, Stephanie? Shit, I might need you to send me one. Yes, but not from here. Oh, wait a minute. Look, oh, look at my DM. So, Stephanie, what you saying? They, they, they don't sell them at, at your store? Oh, I see it. I got it. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, these too small for me. Uh-uh. Uh, uh, Erica, um, they got they got some in Walmart. Wait. Oh, so the long one I just sent you, they got them in Walmart? Because that little one you sent me, that's too little. <laughs> Stephanie. I'll be cooking for 50 days. <laughs> Lord Jesus have mercy. Oh, I actually have a. Oh, okay. Uh, Stephanie said they sell them in Walmart. I mean, not Stephanie. Um, Erica. Erica, you looked up Walmart already? Erica, send it to me from Walmart. Send it to me from Walmart. So, Stephanie, you saying the long one I just sent you, they got at this store that you're talking about? Oh, you got TikTok? Okay, you can find, you can go over there, Miss uh, Crawford then. But Erica just said they don't have no more on TikTok. So, you may can find that at uh, Amazon or, 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 or Walmart. You, you was talking, you was asking me, was I'm going to get one? And I said, yes, but not from the TikTok store. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how how much y'all cost now because I need you to get me one goddamn minute sending to them. That's what I'm trying to find out. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, you, you probably can find them all over, you know? I, I, I was just saying because I was really sharing the size of it with y'all. You know, I didn't know how much it cost on TikTok, but the, the two ladies that I follow on Instagram, that's what they say they got theirs from, the TikTok store. Because the two ladies I follow on Instagram got theirs from there. Mm hmm And you can do wonders with this now, y'all. You can do wonders with this. Yes. Mm-hmm. Miss Crawford, are you going to, uh, what's the name of it? Um, yes, I can go check them out this weekend. Okay. 
Miss Stephanie or, or, or either Erica, one of y'all in the shop, put the name of it in the chat, the name of, the, of this thing. Oh, it's a skillet. It's a skillet, right, um, Stephanie? When you look for, look, if you look, if you research it, um, Miss Crawford is like, 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 look on a skillet. Walmart got them, but they small too. No, I don't want them. <laughs> yeah. And they will sit and I will send you pictures. Okay. Thank you, Stephanie. Uh, uh, Miss Crawford, put in the, a long skillet. Put in on, you know, YouTube, not YouTube, shit, what I'm talking about. Uh, um, Walmart, Amazon, and if you got Target around your way, uh, yeah, search it. A long, the, the long skillet. Yeah. Because these can do some wonders, guys. Guys, you can cook. A whole meal on this motherfucker. For real. No lie. God damn. Shit. Because when I watched the first day, she had her corn on it. Wrapped up in foil. She had seasoning and everything, girl. She had her corn going. Then she had her green peppers, red peppers, and onions. Right? And then on the other side, girl, she had her steak. I'm like, well, okay. Amazon got the long ones for 89. Is it like this, Al Africa? They they launch it like this. Erica looking up everything. Erica ain't playing. <laughs> Miss Crawford, you still in the chat, boo? Oh, at, I, I'm looking for Miss Crawford. I don't know. If she's still in the chat, Erica just said they got the long ones just like this, Miss Crawford, for $89. And that's not bad. That's not bad. You can't beat that. Oh, you see it? Okay, you got it. Okay. What you looked up on Amazon? Shit, I don't got everybody buying them damn things. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh my God, I got y'all buying them. Oh Lord Jesus. Okay, Miss Crawford says she buying that one. Okay, <laughs> okay, Auntie, I hear you, girl. I ain't mad at you, boo. Shit, Miss Crawford said I can do wonders with that. Yeah, you really can. You really can do a lot with that. Check my DM. Okay, got you. Hold on. I need me one, y'all. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Yes, Erica. Yes. Y'all, that's the same one. Ooh, child. Uh-huh. Yup. Thank you, Erica. Um, I see it on TikTok for 89. And that's what it is right here in Walmart. It's 89 right here. Erica just sent me. It's right here in, in Walmart. I don't know which, uh, how much it costs for the one that Miss Crawford just seen because I don't know what she's looking at. Oh. Okay, y'all. Uh -huh. Hey, Miss OG. So, yeah, it's different ones you can buy. Right. Okay. Yeah, this shit do wonders, honey. Yeah, I got to get this. Africa, this was, a oh yeah, prom. This was Amazon. Right. Right, Amazon. Oh yeah. 
Um, the one I see is 89. They're 89 everywhere. They're everywhere, 89. So you really, it's really a good price. Right. I see it, um, Erica. Thank you, boo. I see it was Amazon. Yeah, Miss Crawford, everywhere they're 89. <clears throat> that's a, I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I thought they were gonna be like a hundred and some dollars. Oh, okay, Stephanie, twenty nine 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 forty nine. Oh, okay, that's where you at. Okay. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, yeah, these nice. Miss Crawford, you can cook a lot up there, right, Boo? Right, Erica, Stephanie, y'all can cook a lot up there, guys. Yes, because they have some with the warming tray on the bottom of it. Oh, I see that right here. I see it right here. You is right. And those was really nice. I'm ordering mine on Friday. <laughs> oh, my God. Erica is not playing. So, wait. The tray at the bottom of it. What is that, um, Stephanie? Because I do see the tray. The one for 89. I see the tray. Let me see something. Yeah, I see, I see the tray. Um, Stephanie, I mean, Erica says she ain't playing. She ordered hers. Well, up here, I'm reading reviews. They said they done sold over 400 less than a month. So these shits must be really good. Mm-hmm. They non-stickable. Yeah. Erica said she wasn't her shit fried. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this picture. Eric ain't playing. Oh, so the, the skillet, you talk about the 299949, those are the ones of the, those are small ones though, right? Um Stephanie, the ones you've seen on TikTok. I would tell Erica when she ordered her a secret picture or when she get it. Because I might have to come on in and cook on Erica's skillet. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm telling them things is good. I, I can tell. I'm telling you, that lay down follow on Instagram. That lady be cooking her full fucking dinner on that. Like, she literally do. Like, when it comes to her meats and stuff, that lady don't be playing. She be getting busy. She be having sauces on one side in the morning, bacon, pancakes. I'm like, well, damn. And then, when I first seen her cook on it, y'all, I didn't really, like, pay her no mind. You know, I'm just looking, because she know how to cook. She's a really good cook, right? And um, she blogs a lot. So um, I was just looking at because I like I like the way she cooked. You know, her food always the food looked delicious. So then one day the skillet just caught my eye. I'm like, what the hell? Where the hell she get that big ass thing from? Like that to cook all this food? That's what caught my eye and made me screenshot it. And then that's when I went to this lady and seen her using it too. That goddamn skillet so goddamn big, y'all. Ooh, you can cook your whole goddamn dinner. Up there, I'm telling you. Ooh, chai. Uh, D, you had a P.O. box. I would, D, if you had a P.O. box, I would get, I, I would got you one. I do got a P.O. box. I'll send it to you in the inbox. Oh, that's right, because I never even told everybody. I only ones know I got an inbox. I mean, P.O. box is the people that order from me. Oh, yeah, I got a P.O. box, Stephanie. I'll send, I'll send my P.O. box in your inbox, in your, in your, in your inbox. Um, yes, it's a family of five at my house, so we cook a lot, and that would really work. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That would really help people that don't want to do all them different pots and stuff. 
Like that lady had bacon, sausages, eggs. I'm like, what the hell? And she had pancakes on that thing. I, I'm not lying, y'all. She had her whole breakfast on that thing. Her whole breakfast. Her whole breakfast. Hold on, um, Erica. Let me um yeah. I ain't lying to y'all. Shit, I'm telling y'all the truth. <laughs> I'm telling y'all the truth. That lady had everything up there. No lie. Everything up there. And I'm like, well, how the hell? <clears throat> but she did. She had everything up there. For real. She did. She had everything up there. Everything. She did. For real, for real. And it's good. And 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 and, and like um um like Erica just said, I mean um Stephanie just said that's good for you know, you have like maybe three children or something like that. And, you know, or either maybe you're just tired when you get off work. You don't feel like all them different pots, you know, making something. You can put that stuff on that thing and make that stuff up. You can keep um, you can keep me um, mixed up. <laughs> you keep, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Oh, because I'm texting Erica something. That's why I'm sorry. Baby. Boop, don't fight me. Don't fight me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that 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 that's good. That's really good to have. Mm -hmm. That is good to have. Well, I'm glad I shared that with y'all because look how many people want it now. So I'm glad I sh I shared that, you know, with y'all. You know, sometimes it's good to have conversations you don't know. Yeah. You can check your inbox, Erica. Yeah, so I'm glad I, you know, well, I'm glad I was able to share that with y'all. I'm glad y'all like it. You know, I'm going to share with Open Book too, because maybe she can get one too. Shit. She may look it. She may love it. She cook everything that one got them time be done. Shit. <laughs> Listen, you know how you have your 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 noodles boiling on the stove, right? For your spaghetti, right? Yeah, your noodles boiling. Then that skillet girl, you can be doing the meat, green peppers, onions, whatever you want to put in there. Your little side shit with it, baby. You be you be done. You be done. She does. She does that to me and Big Chief. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll get y'all mixed up. I'm so sorry, y'all. Y'all, no one out there is fired. Mm-hmm. I have so many. <laughs> I don't cook with my fingers, so I have. Oh. Oh, okay. What the? Your kids think you really crazy, Stephanie? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Erica, I sent everything in your inbox, boo. Yeah. I'm going to send that to you too, Open Book, if you would like to, you know, see if you like one. Let me see. I'm going to send this to open book. Maybe she might want to get with the program with us. And she may enjoy it, guys. So let's see if open book want to enjoy this. Okay. Open book. I got your right name this time. Okay, girly. <laughs> <laughs> I just sent it to you, girly. Check it out and come in the chat and let the chat see how you feel about it, girly. Mm -hmm. Tell me if you like it, girl. 
I don't really know open book one like that. I was trying to see did Miss Crawford order hers already. But she said she seen that she was gonna get it. Um, open book if you still in the chat. Is it is it um I texted to you if you got it. <laughs> so y'all, I sent it to y'all. I hope y'all like it. Yeah. Sometimes you see how you open up conversations, just that you know, you talk about something, you you and you just don't know who can you inspire with something that would like it or you love it, open book. I knew you would, girl. I knew you would, girl. So now you go on and buy you one, okay? They're all they are on um Amazon, Erica said. Okay. Now, hold on, open book. Let me send you what Erica sent me and you can look it up. Give me one second. Hold on, lady. One second, guys. Let me help open book out. Okay, ladies. Yes, open book loves that. Open book, I'm glad you love that. Now I want you to buy one. Hold on. Thank you so much, Erica. Thank you, baby. I love you. Erica's gonna buy me one for a gift. Thank you, Erica. I love you, Queen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that, Erica. <clears throat> thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Okay, open book. Are you here? Let me see what I got for you, open book. I'm trying to see that. Um, did I do that? Oh, Miss Crawford just ordered hers. Oh my God, Miss Crawford ordered one. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, open book. Hold on, I'm working with you, girly. Give me a minute here, darling. I'm working with you right now. Okay. Give me a minute. Yes, I'm so excited. Okay, now, open book is coming your way. Give me a second, darling. I'm going to help you out to, to, to get it real fast, open book. You're going to get it faster than what the hell you thought you was. Hold on. Okay, darling, it's sent to you. It is sent to you. Yeah, so. There you go, guys. Miss Crawford, I'm proud of you, baby. You just ordered you one. Miss Crawford, I want you to send me a picture of yours, okay? When you're cooking on it, send me a picture of it, okay? Don't forget, because when Erica send me mine, I'm going to take a picture of it and I'm going to post it so you guys can see it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to take a picture of it. Yeah, Miss Crawford, just just let me see the food you're cooking on it, cause I know you're gonna, I, I know you're gonna have some good food up there. I know you is. I know you're gonna have some good food up there. Hey, Lakeisha Boo, what's going on? Hello, hello. We over here chopping it up, just having a you know, little girlies conversation. My mama would love to have to have it too. Oh yes, open book. Yes, yes, and it's nice, right? I'm good, Lakeisha Dobbin. I can't complain. God gave me another blessed day. I can't complain. You know, we have our little days and stuff. 
Um, hey, sexy Ray, what's going on, boo? So, open book. You gonna order one? I need to know because I need a picture of it. I need a picture of it. I want to see all the food. <laughs> I, need a, I, I need a picture of it. Forget it. I need to know, guys. I need to know. Mm -hmm. See how you can work together, you know? You never know. Some person you can inspire other people. I shared one thing and look, everybody in the chat, and I'm going to buy one. You see what I'm saying? So sometimes it's good to, you know, do things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Open books, and she love it too. Cause baby, I'm gonna have a ball with mine. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Have a great time. You can put everything up there on that thing, honey. Hmm. When I say put everything up there, everything, everything up there. I want y'all to cook your whole house. I want y'all to cook the whole house, everything in y'all goddamn freeze. I want y'all to put it up there and cook it. <laughs> y'all know I'm kidding. I don't like the joke. Oh, uh, chill. I need to start by cooking first. Oh, my God. Open book. <laughs> open book. You get that at the start. You. I promise you. Thank you for letting us know, D. You're welcome, baby. You're welcome. No problem. Now, thank you for the cash app too, um, Auntie. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, open book. I promise you, you get it. It's gonna start you to cooking again, and you're gonna say thanks to Miss D. <laughs> you're gonna thank me for it. I'm telling you. So you might as well go on and order it and tell me you got it. Just let me know when you get it. Take a picture of it and send it to me. Just go on and order it now, I'm telling you. Because I want you to cook everything in that goddamn freezer. Everything in that freezer. And I want you to put it up there. And I want you to send me a picture of it. I want your steak up there, your chicken up there. Um, I want your uh, turkey chops up there. I, I, want, it, I want it all up there. Mm-hmm. Then in the morning, I want your pancakes, your bacon, your eggs, just everything. You know, hash, corned beef hash, put all that up there. <laughs> put it all up there and send it to them. I need to I didn't know how full to get. Fill it up so you can't even see the bottom of the, of the, uh, of the skillet. <laughs> Fill it up, baby. Yes. <laughs> yeah, y'all. <laughs> oh, my God. I know sometimes y'all be like, Miss D is crazy. <laughs> Open books say I'm hollering. <laughs> yes. Shit. I, I, I ain't seen. Uh, oh, well, well, she she gone in chat. I was sending it to her too. Barry Boots. Where she at? Mm hmm Yeah, because I know Barry Boots be like, oh, my God, D. I'm going to get that. I'm going to still send it to her, though. I'm going to send it to her. Cause she probably not in the chat now. She probably won't buy the word. I'm gonna send it to her. I'm gonna say, "Boo, how you like this?" Oh, that's nice. I'm gonna say, "Now I want you to buy it. I want you to buy it, and I want you to send me a picture of it, and I want you to cook every goddamn thing in the bottom of your refrigerator and the top, and I want you to put it up there and cook it, and I want you to send me a picture of it. I need to see everything." Everything, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything else I see, y'all? I'm gonna let you know. <laughs> Anything else I see, I let I, I keep you guys on point. Yes, it was a great. We are getting all kinds of food. <laughs> Oh, Lord. 
Lord, open book is something. Lord, open book says she needs some food stamps to get some steak and potatoes and everything. Open book, I ain't mad at you, girl. I ain't mad at you, boy. Um, it was a great live. Thank you, Brittany. Um, yep, Mother's Day is coming up. Mm -hmm. Oh, forgot. That's right. It's in May. <clears throat> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Go on and get yourself an early Mother's Day gift and just go on and get it and cook everything. Shit. Cook your steak up there too. Put put to put, put a turkey up there. Mm-hmm. Anything you can find. Anything you can find in your freezer, they can go up there, put your Cornish hens up there and everything. Yeah, it would be a good gift, a good gift idea. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, Miss Crawford said she ordered hers already. As soon as I sent it to her, she ordered it. Miss Crawford wasn't playing with nobody. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Miss Crawford wasn't playing, baby. She beat everybody to the punch. Miss Crawford said, "Uh, uh, I got mine, y'all." I already told Miss Crawford when she cooking it. Please let me know. I didn't know. I didn't know how it worked. Okay, babe, I will. I didn't know how it worked, Miss Crawford. Yes, yes, baby. Sometimes it's good to have fun, just laughing and shit. You know. It's good. Have some fun. Mm hmm I want y'all to cook everything. I'm going to cook your baked ziti up there, lasagna, everything. Okay. Whatever you got in your goddamn house, cook it. <clears throat> Send it. Mm hmm I need to see it. Yeah. Somebody in here said they didn't have TikTok. Was that Brittany? I think that was Brittany said she ain't had TikTok. What's up, boo? <laughs> <laughs> hey, D. Hey, chat. I said, D say, get everything in your house and cook it up. One more time, I'm trying to drive home crying. Girl, you got me sick. <laughs> 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 Get everything out of your refrigerator. Right now. <laughs> yes, I want everything. Oh my God. I was hollering. No, D, I was saying that time when we were going through our difficult time, uh, you know, we had qualified for food stamps. I said, my pantry and refrigerator haven't been the same since. Yeah, <laughs> so everything. <laughs> I can understand, open book. Everything is so high. You know, yes, bro. I'm telling you, I get it. I get it. I I say, I say, I'm I'm to money. You know, um, someone was telling me, um, who was it? Someone was telling me this morning that every time they go in the supermarket, they come out with like three bags for hundred and fifty dollars. Oh my gosh! Yeah, matter of fact, you know what it was? It was Auntie Debbie. I spoke to her this okay. morning. Ooh, and I said, oh, my God, are you serious? She said, she said, D, I don't be having nothing in my bags. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like you can go and get half a basket for 100 bucks. I mean, easily. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. I'm, I'm, And it's sad. You know, like I was telling somebody the other day, I said, I don't miss being in that temporary position, but I do miss those food stamps. <laughs> <laughs> Because these these kids we eat and it's like I need to start back cooking regularly um again and stuff because I saw that and I actually love that because you can do breakfast, you can do your dinner, like even if you want to do like hamburgers, um uh, yeah. different things on there, you know, at one time. I love that. Yes, and then you can do some. You can do like hamburgers up there. And if you got an air fry, put the had the, the, the French fries and the air fry while the while the burgers up there cooking. Like, yeah, that should have saved you a lot of a, a lot. I'm telling you. Uh huh. It is I follow on Instagram. That's how I got it. I follow her. I follow two ladies on Instagram, and I seen both of them with it. 
So I'm like, where the hell did they get this shit from? And at first I ain't paying no mind, but one lady had seasoned her corn, wrapped her corn up in the foil, put her corn up there. She had cut up her green peppers and onions. On the other side, she had her steak. Then the other lady had bacon, sausage, pancakes, and all at one time. Oh my god! Yeah, it was weak as hell. Oh my goodness! I, you know what? I don't like the only thing though with that. I don't like my stuff like the the juices to mix from different foods. That's the only okay. thing I don't like. Right. Now, right. unless it drains to the side, like oh, no, to the size, of it. she takes it out and drain it, and then she put it back. Okay, it's a, okay, it's gotcha. a drain thing that comes with it, yeah, yeah. Because my and mom then, and she, she, of course, she, her um, other stuff, she she cleans it off, put the other stuff up there. I'm like, okay, girl. Oh, okay, so she cleans it. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. I have one similar, but it's not as long. But I was telling y'all, um, and Cheryl, thank you. And Miss Lisa, uh, thank y'all so much for that. She passed away um, almost six years. Well, it'll be almost seven because my son is about to be seven. Almost seven years ago. But my mom, she had like the smaller one. <clears throat> Excuse me. And when I tell you, if I showed that to her, she would love it. She would love that. Oh my gosh, she would have loved it. Wow. Yeah, she loved it. Nice. I was just on I was just on live. I was on live, right? And I was strolling through. And I'm like, damn, let me share this. You know, so I just started sharing with, with YouTube, people in my chat. And I said, mm -hmm. Erica, let me send you this to see if you like this. And uh <laughs> and Eric was like, Oh my god, I'm getting one. Cause we start talking about uh TikTok uh shop or something they got over there i don't know too much about it but it was like oh, oh yeah, yeah people shop over there too but i don't have tiktok so i don't know so once i shared it with africa everybody wanted it so i shared it with everybody well miss crawford don't order hers already wow miss crawford ordered hers right here while we was online she ordered one okay now miss crawford mm -hmm. how many times you gonna use that do you do a lot of cooking miss <laughs> crawford <laughs> wouldn't pay me the chance about something i need that Miss Carver stopped to come in. Miss Carver stopped come coming for a while. I said, "Oh, she's looking for it." She came back in the chat. So I just ordered mine, D. <laughs> you said she gonna hurry up and get that. I know that's right. Yeah, I got to get back on my cooking. I really do. I mean, I cook sometimes, but not uh, regularly. Like if you want to see, if you want to see, I'll send it to you in your inbox if you want to see it. Which one? You sent it to me already. No, I said Miss Hudson. Oh, Miss Hudson. Okay. Yeah, oh, thank you, Robert. Yeah, I appreciate I that. You. Yeah, I love it though. That's a great idea. It's long, yeah. so you got to find somewhere to store that one. Uh, girl, you better know I keep the goddamn box every time I get finished with that motherfucker. I put it in there, and I got a chef <laughs> and a paint all on top. I put that bitch in there. Show with <laughs> you, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You yeah. say you keep a box in <laughs> Yeah, I, I clean it off real right. good. I, I put it back in the box, put it on my shelf. Every time I need it, I go there to get it. Right. And that's why Should I do I on some stuff too. Yeah. Keep all the boxes. Yeah, yeah the I, George I, Foreman girl. I like that too. I gotta get another George Foreman. Miss Hudson says she found. Uh, she's seen a pack of pork chops in public for sixteen dollars. Good lord, that's expensive. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Wow, that's 16. crazy. That's a lot. That is a lot. Yeah, Auntie Debbie told me this morning. She was like, Oh my god, I can't believe this. I said, What, Auntie? She said, Every time I go there, I think she said public. She said, I come out there with three bags and my food be 150 some dollars. She said, I'm tired of that shit. <laughs> 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 I know the feeling, y'all, because I use cash for food too. So I know. I, I know. And it's not a good feeling, y'all. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. And I, yeah, and I spend like, us hungry. I spend like maybe almost close to four something in food in cash. Wow. In cash. In cash. And it's just me and my son in, in cash. And that shit. 
That shit fucks me up so bad, but ain't nothing else I can do about it. But one thing about it, though, it lasts us the whole month. <clears throat> so, only thing I, 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 I like re-up on, like, he'll give me money for, like, bread, milk, little juices. But when it comes to the food, food, that lasts us the whole mm -hmm. month. Oh, wow. Well, that's not bad mm -hmm. then. Yeah, because it's just me and him. It's, it's no little kids here. Yeah. But, yeah. And don't think it, it makes me feel good, y'all, but I know I got to eat. And that's why sometimes, y'all, to be honest, like, I don't cook every day. I limit to how many times a week I cook because when food's so high like that, you can't cook every day. You know what I'm saying? You got to be on a budget out this bitch. I don't care what nobody say, <laughs> say what you want to say about me. Bitch, I'm not going to no goddamn stove and cook no goddamn steak every motherfucking day. No, I can't afford a steak every day. <laughs> I'm just saying, open book. I'm just saying, you know. So, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's, I'm it's, sorry. It's, yeah, yeah, open book. You know, I'm just saying, like, I limit to how many times a week I cook. I don't cook every day because when you do, it 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 it, it takes a lot. You know what I'm saying? You cooking every day, every day, every day. So what I do, I limit on how many times a week I cook a full course meal. Oh, now that's a good idea. And you can do leftovers or something. Right. Now, Sundays, I cook big dinners for me and my son every Sunday. So we practically have leftovers for Monday. And then okay. Tuesday, I don't cook. He eat whatever he want. I eat whatever I want. I will pick back up again on a Wednesday. Oh, that's a good idea. I yeah. didn't think about that. Yeah. So I I buy like I buy like um hamburgers. Um I buy the steakums. I buy things like this so you know he can like you know make a little sandwich. Um I buy um fresh um lunch meat from the deli. I get three different okay. kinds. I do stuff like that. I get the uh you you know how they have the uh the the rolls I buy the rolls so he can make him a sub with it I buy the uh the the oil and vinegar it's already made at the deli you can buy that come home make your own motherfucking sub okay so I right. buy stuff like that <laughs> yeah uh huh shit I got a budget out here girl yeah I ain't playing for real shit uh huh shit I, I got it mm 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 I buy wow. oh, oh, I buy three cups of noodles, the cases. Shit, shit, yeah. Are you kidding me? I just said you're shitting me. <laughs> and, 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 and they be having like 12 cans of tuna fish for like $9.99. So I get that. Uh, uh I don't drink sodas. Our cases of water be like three for nine. So sometimes I get like six. And then the next five month, if I want to go shopping, I don't have to get no awards for that last us. Okay. Man, yeah. I like that idea though. Yeah. So like with your kids, like you can get like little chicken tenders, you know what I'm saying? Like cook that with, with um for them, maybe with some fries, you know. Um, let's cook it. You can make them burgers, you know. Uh, I'm gonna tell you something. I buy the big bags of tater tots because he like tater tots. I buy the okay. big bag. Of, yeah, I buy stuff like that. So I don't want to cook. He can cook his own stuff. And you know what? But I got one that's almost pretty much a vegetarian. And then the other oh, one, yeah, that's my granddaughter. Eats, she don't like no meats. Yeah, she really she rarely eats that. And then my and then want to get a high price appetite of shrimp. I was like, girl, that's not a cheap. Uh, that's not a cheap little. <laughs> Uh, uh, appetizer, you know, you can always just have shrimp, you know. But yeah. my son, he doesn't eat like hamburgers, he'll eat like chicken tenders, he very rarely will eat like tater tots and stuff like that. He'll just do like french fries, so they're like basic, kind of. I'm trying to get them out of that, you know, and just try different stuff. You don't have to stick with the same stuff all the time, right? You know? Right, I got it. So yeah, I get I get the chicken tennis, I get all that stuff. Shit, shit, shit me. No, mm -hmm. that's right. Yeah. 
I mean, I got. I, 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 I try to make a stretch, honey. I know mm -hmm. that's right. Yes, Miss Lisa. She said you got a budget. That's true, though. Like seriously, you really do. You really do. I get the big thing, uh, pancake Thank mix. You, you know. Mm -hmm. You know. I got my little containers. I put my flour in, my sugar, my pancake mix. You know all that stuff. And my my, I make sure my pancake mix is stacked to the top. Shit. Mm -hmm. I get the real big thing. Of, yeah, I get the real big thing. I got them syrup. That shit like nine nine nine. The real big thing of syrup. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But do y'all have like do y'all have like Sam's Club, Costco? Yeah, we all that. yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, we have all that. Yeah. Come on, daughter. She like DJs and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she wow. loves that stuff. And see, when you spending money, oh. Hey, that's the first. Mm -hmm. That shit. Yeah. Um, do you get snacks, D? Um, yeah. Talking to him, I'm not really a snack person like that. Like, um, when most of everything is chocolate, and I can't have it. So sometimes I would get like uh uh the wheat crackers. I like like wheat crackers, stuff stuff like that. I get like that for me because I can't have like the chocolate I used to do. So I get like little healthy stuff for me. I can't okay. really eat potato chips and stuff like that neither. So yeah, but I get snacks. I spend all, all close to um four hundred, maybe over four. And you welcome to. I can't. Sorry. I can't even say nothing about it, y'all. I mean, don't think because I do that I'm rich. I'm not. It's just that I have to do what you know what I got to do to make me make so I can know I I can eat the whole month. You know what I'm saying? Right. Cause. I, I don't want to have to ask nobody for nothing. So if it, it, it causes me to be broke, it is what it is. My bills mm -hmm. is paid and I got food and, you know, and it is what it is, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Miss Lisa, she said something that's good too. The intermittent fasting where her first meal is at 12 o'clock, last meal at 8 p.m. Because you lose weight with that and you save money. You really do. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Yeah. So that's why I say it all depends on like how many people in your household. How often do you cook? Do you cook every day? Do you have leftovers? You know, all that plays a role in how your food can last you. Right. I mean, because you who want to cook a meal five days a week and eat everything up, right? And then that's more food you got to keep bringing back in the house. So true. You know what I'm saying? And you have to have limitations for the kids when it comes to certain things, juices, snacks. You know, you just can't. Some people just, I guess some people may feel like that, like, like that's abandoning your child or something. Um, when you don't let them get what they want. No, it's fucking not. Girl, it's but let me tell you, with my son, okay, like. He will sneak it like when we're not looking whether I, the where the refrigerator is positioned. He has learned how to sneak the snacks. It's not like we telling him to get it. <laughs> Next thing we know, I'll hear either little feet or I won't even know until it's gone. Uh, because I know we have bought a box of like those little yogurt packages. My daughter said, "Mommy, Micah ate all of the yogurt." And I was like, "Well, we because I know how many I passed out." Well, when he's there with my husband, where my husband sits sometimes, you can't see the refrigerator. So he um, goes the other way because two ways in and out the kitchen until you go to his room. <laughs> you like, boy, you done stole all these snacks. So I've been getting on his butt because, I mean, that's a lot of money. you just going and just eating up stuff. Yeah. And he's sick and wearing a size 10. <laughs> yeah. That's why. Because what my daughter does um she had, had she bought a um one of these, these cute little buckets right from um walmart and they have mm -hmm. the kids name on it in the kitchen and their snack is in there for that day once some snacks on they get nothing else when they get out of school oh i like that okay so and on weekend their snack is in there for the whole day right once mm -hmm. those snacks move, they cannot get anything else. And she'll put like three snacks in there for the Saturday and Sunday. 
after that, they can't have anything that's um, all that. No more snacks. Oh. Yeah, their name is on their buckets. Yeah, their name is on their buckets. My daughter mm -hmm. talking about, no, she hear you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you may have to cut some down. You got to cut it down a little bit because my daughter was doing that too. Like when my daughter room was in the back, the kitchen and the living room and stuff up front, her daughter was mm -hmm. doing the same thing. Her daughter was sneaking that, eating up everything. And said, girl, my daughter had to go get cameras in the house and everything. Girl, <laughs> yeah. Oh, <what? laughs> That's when my daughter knew. My daughter, my daughter went and got cameras for the house. And she said, Mommy, why you get the camera? She said, For you. Wow. See? So now they Ooh. have their own special buckets with their names on it, on the shelf in the kitchen. And uh, once the snacks is gone, that's it. That's yeah, it. I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to start that process. And the cooking every other day, that helps too. Yes. I'm gonna do yeah. That. yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you cook like that Sunday, make sure you cook enough for that Monday, you know? And yeah. then that Tuesday, you know, make a little sandwich or something for them. Like my son, he like to make subs with, with, with his little chips on the side. Little stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's mm -hmm. a little dinner for him on Tuesday. Then Wednesday, I cook a big dinner again that lasts us. You know, I, I, I have to split it down like that because I yeah. can't afford to cook every single day, every goddamn day. You cooking a goddamn steak and, and, and girl, <laughs> 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 Ooh, these men know how to eat. These boys and these men. Yes, yes. Oh. Um, I shop at Walmart. You hear this? Yeah, I, I like Walmart too. Yes, yes. I, and I love Walmart salads. They good. But you know what? With the Walmart salads, you know what I do? I bring them home and add a little more of my stuff in it. But yes, Walmart has some good salads. Yes, they do. Oh, yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like those little pinwheels that they have, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Those are good. Mm -hmm. And I get... Because some, some places you go in Walmart, some places, all of them Walmarts don't have everything. All depends on which Walmart you go to. I try to go to the Walmart, the big Walmart that sells everything they got meat so in one aisle the other woman i used to go to i stopped going there. I, I didn't like them like i don't know what happened and they fell off but, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. girl i remember when walmart first came out well where i used to live in houston we only had like kmart um like stores like that we didn't have stores that had groceries and um food all in one place so we went on a band trip we had a competition and it was in brenham texas and i'll never forget we stopped at a walmart and they had the food and the uh the clothes and i said oh my gosh this is like a walmart in heaven it has everything oh <laughs> it my was God, you excited. i was so excited because you didn't have to go to two places you can now go to one place and we never had that See, uh, we had Kmart up here too before we got Walmart. Oh, yeah, too. Yeah. Kmart. yeah, but then when the Walmart came in place, they started closing the Kmart down. Yep, that's what started happening because they started moving them to Houston. Once uh, mm -hmm. that one was started in Brenham, then they started moving them uh, to Houston and they started closing mm -hmm. Kmart. Yeah, well, you know, what, to be honest with you, open book, I ain't really never liked Kmart like that. I didn't either. Mm -mm. Yeah, I, I just feel like that stuff was in there wasn't right with me. I don't know what was going on in it. I just, I, I never liked it. You know, me and my friends and stuff, we used to go to Walmart. I mean, Kmart. She'd be like, did you want to go to Kmart? Kmart for what? What the fuck is in it? <laughs> 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 I just never liked the Kmart. It was something about that store I didn't never like. Now, Target, yeah. yes. <laughs> I, I love Target. But Kmart, oh, yeah, I love Target. No. Oh, yeah, I love Target. I, I rarely Target. go there, but I love it when I do. <laughs> I go to yeah, Walmart and go to Target. But open book, do you feel like Target is more a little expensive than K than um Walmart? Yes, definitely. Yes. Yep. Yes. They have a different crowd that they cater to, too, I think, uh, mm -hmm. that they appeal to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're not going up in there. You rarely see people in Kmart. I mean, not Kmart, uh, Target. 
in the pajamas and uh, loud. And somebody just posted this on Facebook yesterday. Have you ever gone to a, a Target and it's been loud? I really haven't. No. I've never gone to a you Target and it's been loud. You find that in Walmart. <laughs> right. That's where you find that. <laughs> yes. Nothing against yeah. it because I'm loud. <laughs> but but I, just that's like, you. I just feel like um, Target food is expensive to me. It is. It is. I don't okay. think they have a, a large variety um, also. Like the variety of foods that Walmart mm -hmm. have. I don't think Target have some of those things. Okay. I could be wrong with some of it. It doesn't seem like as large of a you know variety, it's like a, a small well, range. I don't use them neither, and I don't never shop for food in Target. But if I'm there just to be there, and if I see something I want from over there, I get it. But just to really get a lot of stuff out of there with that food, uh uh, it's too expensive. Right. Mm -mm. Yeah, Target need to cut yes. back on them prices. Yeah, they have to. Well, really, they don't have to because, like I say. They appeal to a certain group of people, so they don't care. Y'all ain't got Target where y'all live at? Mm. Yeah, we got Target. We got Target, Walmart, Kmart <laughs> on that little bougie ass store. I'm loud when I'm in Target. It's too quiet. Yeah, Target be quiet as shit. You don't hear <laughs> shit with the fucking music. That's all you hear is the music. Mm. <laughs> right. I didn't even hear the music. <laughs> Man, it's probably too goddamn quiet for me. Yo, I be trying to figure out like what the hell is going on in here. Yeah. Did they and have you know, the cute baskets? <laughs> all of that in Target. You ain't got to worry about your basket. All, you know, clank clanking. They got the nice baskets. <laughs> I thought me and Open Book was the only one who Target was quiet. Yeah, they too quiet in there for me, honey. I don't know what yes, they have a the ceremony in there. I don't know what's going on in there, honey, but baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, yeah, they have some yeah, they're too quiet for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I rarely go there every once yeah, in a me while. Neither. Me neither. Well, D, I'm going to get off here and run in the store before I go pick up my son. We got to head to okay. the hospital. <laughs> okay, baby. I'll hit you up. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, Thank okay. you for having me up. I'll see y'all later, baby. Chad. Have a good one. You too. Love you. I love you too. Bye-bye. Yeah, baby. Target too quiet for me, y'all. Mm -hmm. What's going on? I'm like open book. I don't know what be going on in Target. They too goddamn quiet. God damn. You ain't shit in there. Mm-hmm. You be trying to figure out what is going on. Why is it so quiet? Everybody just getting their little food, putting their little food in the car, and just as quiet as a mouse, honey. Baby, I ain't saying it got to be ghetto, but damn. Shit. I guess when they see me coming, shit. i like, just deal, get it right in here. Yeah, because I like talking laugh while you shopping. Like, yeah, them people be pushing them cars, they don't be saying nothing. Hmm. Like nothing, child. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yes, I like Walmart too. Some of them um um Mark Fresh only sell food. Yes, I love my Walmart. Love it. I won't get Walmart for nothing. Mm -mm. Target, I don't care what they do with them. But I love my I love me some Walmart. Africa said they ain't got no target. Thank you, um, Lisa. We used to have Kmart, not no more. Yeah, we don't got Kmart no more either. No, D, you know I live in the country. Oh, I ain't know that, Erica. I ain't know that, boo. Well, y'all got Walmart, darling? Shit, what you got? Well, Erica, it might be good to be in the country nowadays the way this world is, baby. I ain't even gonna lie to you. It might be good you is in the country, baby. 
Cause this city life ain't no joke. <laughs> it would be, be real, especially if you got kids. Ain't nothing wrong with it right now. Shit. Cause baby, the uh, Miss D, Miss D blog in Walmart. Miss Lynn, I don't even know how to blog. <laughs> I'm trying to learn. I well, yeah. I mean, I can do it, but I don't know how to edit. I gotta get with somebody to know how to edit. Like, oh, matter of fact, I can get with my um, I can get with my friend today. I had on um on my panel to help me. Um, we got Walmart though. Okay, good. <laughs> as long as you got Walmart, baby. But ain't no wrong living in the country. Shit, I think it's better than that, baby, because this city life is rough. You know, especially raising children. You know? I also like Sam's. We don't have Costco's. We got Sam's and Costco's here. Yeah, you know, I'm in the city, so sometime, girl, I want to get out of the city myself. I ain't going to tell you no lie. The old I get, I feel like getting out of the city because it's too much. It, it is. It's too much hell. You get tired of all that, you know, all that violence and stuff like that. I, I just don't like all that violence. I don't, I don't like all that. And, you know, living in the city, you, you get it. You get that stuff living in the city. And I don't like all that. I love Walmart. You can buy food, clothes. I buy clothes there. I really don't shop at Target. I may get um continue the things like and, and ways I put in my earplugs and play music. Yeah. Yeah, one thing about Walmart, I ain't gonna lie, you can't get everything in there. Everything you're looking for, you get it right there. And that's for real. That is for real. Yeah. But yeah, I'm um I'm gonna ask her because she helped me teach me how to edit stuff. That's what I need to know. I need to know how to edit. That's what I need to know. Lisa, you 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 know how to edit? Uh, Walmart prices have went up. Mm, not over here to me. They're not too bad over here in Jersey. I don't know about New York. But some of that stuff did go up, but not a lot. But I still prefer Walmart. Yeah. Everything went up out here, y'all. Everything done went up. Yes, yes, yes. Everything is so... We, 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 it seems like we can't get past it, y'all. It is what it is. We just can't, we, we can't get past it. Because you know what? They know we got to eat. They know everybody need food in the house. They know everybody need clothes on their back. You know, they know all of this stuff. Yes, and that's why I was telling Auntie Debbie this morning too, Brittany. You was absolutely right. I was telling her this morning too. It all depends on what what you get out the store. Like you gotta start shopping at different stores for different different stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely agree with that. Oh, okay, Lisa. Yeah. So, yep, 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 yep. So, I'm going to get up off here, y'all. I enjoyed y'all. So, y'all, uh, for 
Again, before I get off, all the orders going to be shipped out Mondays to the Friday because the lip gloss that I'm waiting for come in Friday. So I don't want to go all the way to the post office, ship them all, then the lip gloss come back in Friday as soon as I get home. Then I got to go back Monday. That's more extra money I have to spend um, to do the, sh the ship off again. So I'm going to ship everything off just Monday. So, yes, I have only one target here. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of different ones. We got a lot of different ones. I don't go, I don't go to them like that. I'm just sitting on them anyway. They too got that much money for me. So, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, anybody, um, I'll be tracking down the good shades by this week, maybe by Thursday. I could track them down. Um, but yeah, anybody needing a lip gloss, whatever, inbox me on Instagram. Tell me what you want. But you know what I got. Well, what I got is already on my Instagram, but you can just inbox me. So I enjoyed y'all today. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed me. Have a great oh, you too, Miss Edwards. Don't forget me, Miss Ever. Send me a picture. As soon as it come, girl. Send me a picture. And um, oh, Lisa, I need to send you a video of this guy. And I want you to watch that video all the way through and just just hit me up on the back end and let me know how you feel about that video. I ran across this guy video today. I didn't get a chance to watch it because I was getting interviewed the lady on my channel and it was time for me to go live so i definitely didn't um get to watch the video but i'm definitely going to get off here i'm gonna watch the video because this guy is claiming that he has worked with justin and mahogany and things wasn't looking good so i'm gonna leave it as that i'll send a video over to you you can watch the video and you can tell me what you get from the video but one thing I don't like about people, I don't like when right, you, you see this shit going down with P. Diddy, right? So now everybody want to speak out, right? So what's going on with this lady, the husband and wife, they are separating. So now the guy used to work for the family. So now he just made a YouTube channel now to come out and talk about mahogany and the husband, the things that he's seen in them, things that he's seen in the kids that wasn't right. This is what this man talking about. Um, I want to watch it to see just what he's saying, but I won't follow his channel if he's talking down on on her. I'm gonna say because I don't like when men do that. But I I, I just want to watch to see what it's really about. So that's what I'm saying. So he got like 300 and some subscribers. I ain't sending none of my supporters over there. <laughs> that's for sure. I don't send my supporters everywhere. No. You are talking down on 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 on, on females and shit. I don't no, I don't, I don't give you no support like that. Um. Oh wow, Miss Hudson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, Miss Brittany. You are so right. You are so right. That's absolutely you're right. So, y'all, I'm going to get up off here. I enjoyed y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow. What's tomorrow, y'all? Wednesday or tomorrow, Thursday? Shit. I don't know. I forgot. That's the guy I was talking about. So, this is the guy that you was talking, that you told me about him, that he was working with the family and he stopped. Maybe you did. I probably forgot. So you know, so you so they don't. I don't need to send to you then, because you already know about it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna listen to him. <laughs> I need to know what's going on, girl. I be all through these goddamn YouTube streets, girl. Yes. So y'all, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Same time, same place. It'd be different shit. You too, Brittany. And again, thank you so much, Lisa. I, I mean, Erica, I love you, Erica. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I love you. 
So I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll come up with something tomorrow. You know, y'all know how I do. And thank y'all for rocking out with me. Thank y'all for everybody that always support me, come in my chat and just stay with me to the end. I don't care if it's 10 people in here. Y'all just rock out with me to the end. I just love y'all so much. And I thank y'all so, so much for that. I surely appreciate y'all. I really do. Thank y'all so much. So I will definitely see you guys tomorrow. Anybody want to order, please hit me up on the back end on Instagram. Thank you so much. Peace and love. See you guys tomorrow.